Hey, on the 85 South show, Jack, this is kind of crazy right here, Jack, man. I don't know if you know, Woo! but That's you done forgot, crazy. Jack. Yeah. You forgot. You I forgot, must have forgot? You forgot the mantra, Jack. I must have forgot. No, you did. I know you did. Uh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Is I this Carlito it, from a couple of days ago? Lewis, I'm going to say it because I know you forgot. Hey, and now you're going to feel bad. When okay. Hey. All right. A gingerbread man ain't nothing but a gingerbread boy that done grew up. <laughs> 100% man. That's it. 100% man. Cause people be sleeping on the gingerbread man. It's, you know, it's a lot of, uh, uh, it's kids involved, it's gingerbread aunties. <laughs> gingerbread it's, family. It's a whole gingerbread family in it. Yeah. You know, so you just can't have a gingerbread man without a gingerbread woman, right? Where did he come from? Come on now. And then, they, on, how do you differentiate? Bro, well, a man from a woman, right? Cause some of the cookies be anatomically correct. I don't even know if that's the right word. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You like the you barber dog. Since the pandemic hit, your per your song would be perfect for right now. Don't be kissing these hoes in the mouth. Unless you got to. And, and why would you say that? You said that. I, just I mean, but why would you say the pandemic would make it like you know a little bit more relevant than now than think about before it. that? Because think you should have never kissed no hoes in the mouth. Think about it. It's a lot of people with bumps on their lips over some other shit. But check this. You know out, what I'm talking man. about? But if she fine enough, I will bite a bump on you, lip. I'll bust that shit for you if we compatible. You, you hear me? Mm -mm. No, nah, I hope I'm, I'm on by myself. Yeah, I'm nah, by myself. Yeah. I can't get a witness in there. No, y'all ain't busting no bump. Not kissing a bitch in the mouth to bite no bump. <laughs> Nigga, you jump too extreme. Well, y'all executing him in here or something? No, nah, we, we don't. We don't. Y'all don't act. Okay. We don't do none of that, Jay. Oh, I'm, I'm alone. We're grown. Oh, I'm home alone. Yes, sir. Macaulay Culkins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, that's your business. Gotcha. Gotcha. We don't gotcha. get down like you that. You be bumped to bump with a bitch? I mean, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm bumping. I'm trying to keep this thing jamming, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, damn. Yeah, I'm with the bumps. They got websites. You bump touch before you actually touch lips. Jay, sometimes I don't know when you just be saying shit. Yeah. yeah. If you're speaking from the heart. I feel like that, you know, a connection is a connection. Right. Bottom line. Yeah. You got to go through something to get to something. No, Am I not, right or wrong? You wrong a little bit. <laughs> let's just switch gears. Because if okay. you're you trying to take this, I ain't going to be with it. I, 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 I'm looking at you. You came right out the gate with the bumps. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to let you know that everybody ain't perfect. I'm just letting you know. I don't know where this is even headed at this point. Hey, 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 Carlos, you, the tone. You, finna, you finna tell me that you've been like talking to these people for the last five years. Bumps and never you gonna came act, up. Bumps never came up. Till you came. Till I came. <laughs> so we, we, we finna really act like I'm the only person that's been affected by bumps. Yeah, this might be your breakout moment. <laughs> Damn. See, they used to call him Bumpy Johnson. <laughs> It's a Harlem night. It's definitely Harlem night. Bro, you living like that though. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 no. I didn't catch, I didn't catch the herpes. No, I didn't catch. That's Would not what I got. Herpes? No. no. I didn't catch the herpes. No, they didn't. I got the herpes. No. You this, had the this was just regular pimples. <laughs> you nervous? This was regular pimples. You nervous? This was regular pimples. <laughs> you sweating? You nervous? Take that jacket off. You sweating, Jack? You getting nervous? Are you on a pill? Yes. I knew it. Yes. Hey, yep. man, I'm so mad at Joe. Joe put this, when I was shooting the comedy special, Joe put this microphone right here, right? Uh -huh. I guess this bitch picked up everything. Yeah. This nigga swear I'm on pills on this shit. Los, you had the dry mouth. You was on some pills. Well, y'all like, nigga, when you ever seen me taking some pills? I'm just getting accused of all kind of shit. <laughs> He just, said, you, who said you was taking pills? I thought nigga, I, some nigga hit me like, Los, you was high, bro. I had to turn the Bluetooth off. Nigga, I heard your mouth dry on that bitch. I was like, nigga, I was outside for two hours, freezing cold. Mouth dry is bro, high now. Bro, I'm high on the... You can't get... I thought it was certs. To be honest with you, I ain't on front. I thought it was certs. Nigga. And that, that I was trying to just keep my breath right. I just right. don't like being blamed to being on drugs. What? Not, nigga. We I couldn't, know, I didn't even I, respond. I don't mind being blamed on drugs if everybody else on drugs. We, we not grown. on drugs. First, no. Hey, hey, we grown. First of all, we don't do drugs at work. Drugs sound crazy <laughs> when you just say drugs. I drugs at home. <laughs> Did, let, me, let me imagine, you. have you ever just introduced yourself like, hey, I'm Carlos, I'm Clayton, and I'm on drugs. No. Like, like been to the meeting? No, just talking to just regular people to see if you can connect, make a connection. Bruh, I've been, been knowing this. Out, they write I've been knowing off. this nigga for like 16, 17 years. Mm. I ain't never seen him with no drugs. 
Mm, mm. Now, if he would have had some drugs, I'm his partner. I would have known about it. Mm, mm. I think. I don't think a nigga would have hid drugs from me for Is that. Is y'all drug cool? We know all, uh, what you mean? He know Dr what drugs I would have. <laughs> like, you know if a nigga get caught on You, you didn't shit, say no. The nigga had two pounds of weed and a kilo of cocaine. I'm like, no, that ain't that ain't no you that was gonna sell that. No, that, that you, was gonna, you was gonna sell that wasn't for you. <laughs> First we, question, who is he riding with? Cause I know goddamn well. <laughs> It don't matter the amount. I'm gonna be like, nigga, methamphetamine? That ain't low. That ain't him. That ain't him. Gotcha. gotcha. That ain't him. Nigga had a little weed. That was him. Right. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. We, we talking about personal drugs. My only, this my only personal drug is weed. I can dig it. Blunts and I can dig it. backwoods and shit like that. What else? I think you should pick one drug. He a rock star, though. You should pick one drug star. that you good at and stick to it. He a rock star. 100%. You, you know? see it in his eye. I, 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 I've been a little cokey. You been in the a little past? Cokey, cokey. A little cokey. <laughs> yeah, I tasted the real thing. Cokey. <laughs> you was on the bus like Tyrese. Yeah, you hear me always. Coca Cola. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it, it's happened a couple of times. I was trying to step my game up and me, you know, just open up my social bubbles. Cause sometimes we keep ourselves in uh, uh, of like. Like we, everybody do weed, right? No, everybody do weed. Everybody but don't. Everybody, everybody can't but, afford coke. Mm -mm. The one thing about weed, though, is everybody don't smoke it, but a lot of people want to. You'd be surprised how many cool, interesting conversations I've had just because I had the weed. But you know what I don't like about weed, though? Then what I don't like don't about weed? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Because I don't want to hear nothing negative about it. No, I want to hear okay. about this nigga. Uh -uh. I want to hear about Cokey Roberts. Oh, yeah, we, 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 finna definitely, we finna definitely go there. We are. We, we finna definitely go there. But what what, is this therapy for you? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I've dealt with my demons, actually. <laughs> you got I, coke demons? I, I've, I've, oh. I've, I've, I've been accused of, you know, is it falling off the wagon when it's coke? I don't know. Yeah, bro. nigga, you what? fell off the spaceship. I think you was snorting <laughs> off the horse. <laughs> but one thing about weed, let, let, let me say this ain't negative, <laughs> but this was something I just want to put to the forefront. When you smoking weed, is, is what they call it, when they call it, this a congregational drug. No, it's not, it's a social drug. It's a, so, what, so you, if a nigga got the, the, the backwoods, and you got the weed, even if he a fuck nigga, you probably would smoke with him. No, I wouldn't. That's called thirsty. No. I ain't thirsty. I told you I'm grown. That Jeff. don't even matter. See, he got I don't give a fuck if the nigga that I don't fuck with. You ain't never seen two oh. niggas that don't like each other smoking together. Mm-mm. It's not 97, Jack. Nah, not in this. Not in this. Jack, a peace we came treaty, from nigga. a whole different era, bro. We don't smoke with niggas we didn't like. We smoked more because we knew they didn't have more weed than us. We was blunt to the face type people because we don't fuck with nobody, so we ain't right. passing the blunt. You gonna I, smoke by yourself? Yes. Yeah, I rolled it by myself. It's my I rolled weed. it by myself. What the fuck is oh, you talking yeah. about? Okay, gotcha. Y'all came from the stingy era of weed. It, no, it, it wasn't stingy. It's how you had to be because everybody see. When we was doing comedy, when shit first cracked off, we was weed smokers already. Nigga, wasn't nobody smoking weed out. Niggas had weed at the house, but won't smoke your weed out. Oh, y'all rolled up here with that? Mm, mm. Where y'all get that from? How y'all get that? <laughs> hey, what y'all smoking on? Y'all go, it's so many questions, okay, bro. Okay, check You gonna it, check all that in one right, month? Right. See, if, I'm <laughs> glad he here. What worried about for? <laughs> Clayton, no, no bullshit involved. Do you remember? When we came on the comedy scene in 05, didn't nobody know how to roll a cigarillo? Wow. Very few people, bro. Like, we was that little, yeah, yeah. I yep. think motherfuckers was like, I don't know, I think drugs are scared the comedy world. Mm, mm. You know, because that's just comedians got bad rap with it, but. Y'all was one of the first comedians to put weed on the map and up front. No, you weren't. We saw you. When we came on the scene, you was wearing a diaper. <laughs> Wait a minute. It wasn't a diaper. Yes, the fuck you was. <laughs> Don't act like we I was the baby before the baby. You ain't never had no I weed in, in, in ever. Before, you ain't never it had was, no weed. It wasn't a diaper, bro. It was a diaper. Jack, it was chaps. It was a diaper, bro. It was chaps. You was a baby. No, it you was chaps. You had bib and everything. No, no, no. You had, you had Chaps. I had chaps on and I had the, the, the G string. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. no. <laughs> they came mean? after, bro. They came after? You were trying to skip the part. You was okay. the baby first. Then you was a stripper. The nigga had the mesh shirt. 
Don't know. Chain mail. That came after the baby shit. He was the baby Y'all first. think we making shit up, bro? We, you think we just... You just hold up, look. They think he we trying just shouting out the outlandish He trying to skip clothes, the part when he was the baby. It was the baby, then the chain I mean, mail. was Superman. Then the stripper. Then he left the pants on and just had the shirt. I know you, nigga. <laughs> Welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> I'm that magnificent nigga, Carlos Miller. <laughs> I got one of the illest niggas in Nebraska. Oh, wow. the with me today, I wrote bro. no no from state to state. <laughs> bro, if you don't know, just by looking at him, this is one of the most entertaining people in the entertainment industry, bro. He will show up, talk shit, and leave with a smile on his face. Anywhere. Man. And you, you you never can tell with this guy. He's he's made a way for himself. You've seen him all oh, over man. the world oh, talking man. shit. Repeatedly. Blew the whole disrespected website up, damn near single-handedly, Held turned that shit Put into, it back. turned it into, you know, one of those things that you had to turn into, tune, you know, tune, tune into. Tune. I'm sorry, I'm on the weed. I know, I, I know what bit. you meant. But I, this don't need no, I ain't gonna long talk the intro, because no, 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 this no, no. really go, go my keep on, go, keep on, go. He, he don't get long talk intro. I, I hooked so. Joe up with 50 and went for power, the power song. Nigga, it's it's a big rich town, it's a bitch rich town. Put that <laughs> he is single-handedly <laughs> responsible for putting 50 Cent in the room with Joe so they can come up with the power theme song. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's the type of nigga I, I put G-Unit back together. I go, put G-Unit back together, too. He helped That's put G-Unit back together. Yeah, yeah, come put, on, yeah, put that somewhat. Out there. Come mm -hmm. on. Or somewhat, somewhat, yeah, somewhat. Basically what I'm saying him. is he has a lot of social influence okay. and I know him as a great comedian, none other than my man, Mr. Jack Thriller. <laughs> now I could keep going. There's so many things. There's so much other There's shit. So There's so much other shit. It was 16 so or better. Shit. It was party and bullshit, man. Um, yeah, it, it, we did a couple of things out here. No, Jack, a lot of people on, don't man. know this, or they might know this, but when you when you started your This Is 50 show, you gave me an opportunity to, you know, to be credited as one of your writers and things like that, just to pitch you some ideas, and, you know, things that you may or may not use. And I really appreciate that, because you could have went to it up there and got that money and said, fuck them niggas, but you didn't. Uh, you never did. Yeah, I didn't have it. I, I didn't have no money. So I, 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 I yeah. knew you already, and you was going to do the shit. I know. Uh, I called you a couple times because I saw you flexing on social media with a lot of money. Yeah, that was the mother people shit. I was, <laughs> uh, I was learning how to be a rapper. Bro. Yeah, and there was a rapper kit. No, and, when, no. and, I, and I know that, you know, I had some explaining to do, but I didn't know how to tell you that wasn't mine. It's all good, bro. You got your paper and you, you got brand new for a minute. But as soon as you fucked that money up, you yeah, was my friend. I was, I was your friend and you, yeah, you, you saw I came back. You, real you always go back to what you love. <laughs> <laughs> you always go back to what you love, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. And now, for you, but for you to come. play right on the internet, I mean, man, man, fuck that shit, man. That's my friend, man. Yeah, but on some real You came shit. back, soon like the McReal. As soon as you fucked that money up, you was right there being my friend again. Yeah. And I do it again. Come the pitch, don't I it. do it again, man. I have no gifts to bring a rubber pom pom <laughs> on my drum. <laughs> Soon as that money got low, yes, you sir. hitting me back. Yeah, man. Get low to the flow. So how low can you go? You used to see this nigga in the whip, he wouldn't let the window down. <laughs> yeah, Boy, exactly. Now this nigga kicking rocks up the street. That's oh right. God. On the passenger side of my best friend's hey, ride. Oh, yeah. yeah I, used to, <laughs> I was a scrub. I seen him. This one, World Star Hunters, was popular. Mm -hmm. He knew mm -hmm. all of them. This yeah, one was they popular. Kids before before, before they was on crack. Before Instagram. Before they cocaine, they, they got coke. Yeah, yeah, was on crack. Don't tell me. Man, just Google them. That's Google them. You can Google. You can Google just what y'all had put brought up. Oh man. Just like that. It, it happens. You dribble, you shoot, you hope for the best. Right. You know what I'm oh. saying? But you live. Bro, you, you live to get butt south? naked another day. Oh no. It, man, nigga, I came back here, yeah, because y'all, you y'all told me y'all was gonna help me blow up. So I was like, nigga, I'm trying to be down with that 85 South. I can't, like, nigga. You had said that. You said come in. You said the hood is where it's good, homeboy. I thought you knew. Oh. And I'm here. I ain't know you be I'm, 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 I'm here. here. I ain't told niggas too. Yo, I'm with 85 South. I ain't got a condo off just saying this shit. Oh, they gave you a condo? Nigga got a condo off the I shit. Every time you say it, some shit about 85 South, something good happened. How yeah. you end up on tour with Mark? Yeah, the, um, saying that I was on 85 South. That, that was the, the first thing. That, that, that was one of my credits. That was one of my credits saying I was on 85 South. Damn, my man. Uh, you mean to tell me you used this platform yep. to get on a tour that I wasn't even on? Yes. So they knew about the show. They, they just, knew about the show. They, they thought y'all was doing y'all thing. 
Y'all, they, y'all, y'all was doing y'all thing. Wait a minute. Was, Let me clear something up. Yeah. Let me look at all these cameras. Just because you see us doing our thing, don't mean don't call us. It mean we can I don't do give a fuck how many things you see me doing. Yeah. I move some shit around for the right amount. Mm-hmm. Now, if you just don't here playing and pegging and pump faking this shit, I ain't talking about that. <laughs> I'm talking about like real opportunities. If you got this was a real opportunity. They were like, "Hey, who you went on tour with?" Okay, I was at a nigga tour. I remember I was at one of like a two shows that you did. Mm-hmm. And I know you was on the 85 South show. And I was like, yeah, so I guess technically I was on the 85 South tour because Carlos and Chico them was there. And they was like, okay, well then send in a clip of you doing stand-up after you didn't told us that you on tour with Carlos and Chico them. Why did you stop doing stand-up for so long? You had to still. Hey, you know what it is? I had, I just got tired of the, the politics. <laughs> Of it and whatnot, and then what politics? No, shut up, bro. Yeah, because you're saying some bullshit. Don't fucking give us that whole shit. Yeah, you like, thought I tried to do? Act like Warner Brothers and yeah, RCA right? was in a big <laughs> game. <laughs> Netflix and HBO was in odds oh, over Jack Thriller. <laughs> All right, it was some other shit working. <laughs> it was a political. Coup. It was some other shit working. And I said, "Fuck that shit." Overtake, hostile takeovers. Yeah. It's a lot of shit, man. Yeah. You it's wouldn't understand. <laughs> You wouldn't understand. <laughs> you, 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 you just had hey, to be uh, there. No, nah, you're trying to give us the sugary, uh, the media-friendly answer. What's the Man, reason? Man, nigga, you're not fixing to Barbara Walters me <laughs> on your... Nigga. nigga, I'm fixing to let niggas... Wa- I'm gonna walk away from this interview oh. looking like the nigga. Fuck that. Oh. Everything was amazing. Hey, that shit. Even when it wasn't, it was dope as fuck. I ain't hate no nobody. <laughs> this shit was been a, the, the ride of my life. Mm. And we, we, the next chapter is gonna be even more amazing. So I had... I didn't stop doing stand up. Yes, I just, you did. I, I, stop lying on my show. I, 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 I know you. I you, went, you completely stopped. Well, what is stopping doing stand up? What does that mean? How does that look? That means when you no longer perform stand up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I stop doing stand up? Okay, by this your standards. Not hard. By your standards. By it's your standards. Not hard. By your standards. Um, I, I I just had some shit that was working. I was doing the uh, the This Is 50 thing, it was popping off, and I was getting the 2,500 an interview and shit and blah, 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 for people who sit down with me, and I started, you know what I'm saying, seeing that it was a business in uh, putting people on. You know, even though that's how I was always doing it for free yes. for years. Yeah. You know, now, like, okay, I'm getting paid for this shit. All right, I don't really like comics like that because uh, it's such a, a, a crab in a bucket game where everybody just feel like if, if they don't help you out or you're taking their spot or some shit like that, you you holding them back from doing something. I, don't, I ain't like all that that energy. I'm 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 not a hate, let your haters be your motivators type of guy. I need people that love me and want to see me win. I gotta be around that. I want it, that shit make my head hurt. Just hearing mm. motherfuckers hate on things. And that's what a lot of comics do behind the scenes. I don't know if y'all wanted me to say that here. You can say whatever you want to say But here, this is Jack. how I felt. Talk this is my shit. interpretation Talk about of it. a situation. Why you think I asked? <laughs> I don't know yeah. why you would do that. Yeah. I do want to know why. Cause yeah, because, you know, it could, be, it, it, it could be better if we OG better. Okay. Jack, you see what I'm going with that? It didn't take me a long time to understand that... Uh, it's a lot of WWF type theme in the comedy world. Clayton yeah. was there one night. I had an, um, this was early in the game where we were auditioning to be on like one of our first TV shows and we were at the club for the callback audition. You know, you audition and then they'll call you back and they'll have, and then the they big kick, ass one. Right. Then they narrow it down and give you like a minute first, then the a second case. round. Yeah, then okay, like, you so get the look, showcase, you're doing like All six right, minutes. So then, okay. we at the spot, just sitting at the bar, minding our own fucking business this irrelevant ass comedian comes up and said, you know me? We're just sitting there like, who the fuck are you talking to? He's like, do you know me? I'm like, nah, I don't know you. He said, you must not be no real comedian then because everybody know me. I was like, what? He just started going on this rant about how we weren't comedians because we didn't know who he was. But I mean, we got a show now and nobody just know who the fuck he is still. I mean, we might even got, we, we might even got to this day. We might got booked that night exactly. on the show. But look, and that nigga did. Nobody know that nigga. Like, 
We was just there early. <laughs> like, like, if the rest of the comedy world would have been there, they would have been like, man, who the fuck is this thing? Like, and even but, when, when the audition started, we seen him over there trying to explain to the lady who he was. Like, you're not, <laughs> you're not on this list. <laughs> I'm saying all that to say this, man. It's like, <laughs> that shit is irrelevant. That, that don't hold no weight. But I can understand why you would feel that. Yeah, way. because it is. And but you have to. Tur- you literally have to turn that shit off. Yeah, I, yeah listen. You know, I, I, you I apologize for approaching that. y'all like that that night. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> listen, I got beside myself, but I'm here now. We starting over. It's a new play. Hi, my name is Jack. My name is Jack. You live and you learn. Red or green pill? Excuse me. What's your name? <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> y'all gotta get over this shit, man. Real talk, man. Y'all gotta get over this type of shit, man. Real. Y'all some bitches for this. I, I can't even believe you would even bring that back up, man. This old shit. I didn't know y'all was gonna blow up. I didn't know. You think I had have known that y'all was gonna be them niggas that I would have came at you like that? No, it's not, it's not. If I could do anything, if I got one regret, I wish I could go back in time to that night on some Marty McFly shit and stop me before I even walked in that club. And like, nope, them niggas gonna be somebody, don't shit on them. Them niggas gonna be somebody. Why you so fucking crazy, man? You stupid. (sighs) What is wrong with you? Hey man, man, learn from my mistakes. Jack did that so you don't have to go through that. The moral of the story is be everybody friend, because you never know who's going to blow up. Fuck all that. You man, fuck that. Be how you going to be. And then what happened, what happened. Give be me some game. And then good shit go. You don't hear talking shit, but give me some game right quick, because you've been creating media and content for the internet for a minute, bro. What's some of the shit that you learned in creating your own platforms, you know, and, and actually using it to do your thing and showcase what the fuck you do? Well, I had to put yourself on face. Like... <laughs> I never <laughs> you still was a, do. Yeah, I'm not, I've never been a cute nigga. Like, so I had to always be extra creative. Never and, been a cute nigga. Yeah, he, can you believe that? Yeah. Never <laughs> been a cute nigga. Never been a cute nigga. It's the number one house. Never been a cute nigga. I knew nigga. I was gonna have to blow up. Never been a cute nigga. I knew I was gonna have to get that bread. Never been a cute nigga. I knew I was gonna have to get never that bag. Never been a cute nigga. Never been a cute nigga look like my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of them beats where you do this shit right here. <laughs> nah, don't fucking do that. <laughs> that, wasn't, that was not it. No, no, that wasn't it. Okay. okay. Nah. Okay. Okay. The shoulders loose. <laughs> Bro, you still got your Michael Jackson tattoo? Yeah, I still got the Michael Jackson tattoo. That's what's up. Man. This is young Michael. This is Michael from the uh, Thriller video. Yeah. And this is Michael um, from the This Is It. Can you gonna get any more? Um, no, I think I'm over tattoos now because to get them the way you really want them to look, and what now? They cost a lot of fucking money. You got it. You, I don't want to spend it on that no more. When what you get you older, you be buying vests and shit. You, no. <laughs> yeah. I, Why you got? Where you this, what's in your pocket? <laughs> where you gun at? I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I keep charges. I keep a, a, a charger for my phone in here. This nigga the most I, extra nigga I, ever. I, 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 I keep a... Uh, Jackson. Nigga, where is I keep breath, breath mints and shit like that, you know. You know, this, this things that friendly niggas need. That shit called though. I friendly niggas. I, I didn't argue. It looked like real leather. But, but, it is real leather. I believe it. it, it, it I real, believe it. And it also it, uh, is Louis Vuitton on the other side. I it, believe it. You can switch it out. <laughs> on the inside, it's the inside out. I went regular tonight because I'm not trying to get robbed. I want to flex on my niggas. It's COVID. What the fuck? It's man? COVID, man. Bro, you but people are hungry. Don't, nobody know. But you one of the wildest niggas ever, bro. Just got a whole ass mm-hmm. satchel on. Listen, <laughs> shout out to my man, Hassan Torre and whatnot. He made this. He also made my, my, my jacket and what I've been working with this guy for like the last 10 years. Man, you know, um, Clayton, I was with this nigga when he picked the jacket up. He was with me. I Ten was, years ago, did, when I picked this motherfucker, <coughs> bro, I used to. How y'all went? Where y'all went? We was in New York, and Times I always, Square. I always hit this nigga when uh, um, I'm in New York. I just happened to be walking down the street. You know, in New York, you had to walk down the street and smoke a blunt. I actually had that. I hit him, and I was just like a couple, like up the block from him. And yeah. then I walked down to the office of This Is Fit there, and he was like, come run with me to pick these jackets up. This nigga took me to this African dude shop who had all these rooms full of clothes and shit he had made for people and picked up, and Jack had got about four or five of them Thriller jackets made. 2,500 a piece. 2,500. And I had them in all different colors. 
And, you know, it's a new season of Wild and Out coming up. And I wanted to, you know, set myself aside from, you know, um, and and, and uh, uh, make my, stand out on the show. And so. And that nigga wore them hot ass jackets. I wore them jackets. And this shit, and he know it was hot, because if you look later on in the season, the nigga started wearing one sleeve off. <laughs> That's the truth. All you need is one arm to keep you right throughout the whole show. It, the, the, the arms do come off. Side, right? Yeah, the <laughs> ventilate. The one thing about this nigga is you never know when he bullshitting, man. That's good. Cause I, when you got one eye, you ain't you got a poker face. You just gotta. You got you people try to figure out what you think. They can't think of. It. They don't. They don't. Know. They don't know. They only got one to work off. Of. They got one to work off. The nigga never know what's going on in your mind when you got one. Bro, I don't even believe you got one eye. I believe you got. One of them Terminator things in there where it just scans information. Snake got a processing unit. Cause I done seen you do too much. I just I believe you can see it. I done did more than niggas with two eyes. I know. In this side of the game. That's gonna be the name of your documentary. More than two eyes. I done did more than a nigga with two eyes. You hear me? You hear me? It's more than meets the eye. I done did more than a nigga with two eyes. Yeah. Never did. One one hundred percent. I was doing shit. Only let me, thing. Let me ask you about. Yeah, show now. You had this dope ass show. You still. You should bring it back. We won. The high sixteen shit. The sixteen or better. You like that? Yeah. We were 105 uh, uh, episodes in. 105 episodes in. What made you? Stop? And over a thousand, you know, uh, rappers. Uh, came on that show. Young and May came from uh, 16 and Better. For real? Yes, yeah. Bro, you be out here discovering people and yeah. shit. Who put you on the Young and May before the world knew? Um, uh, Grizz from um, uh, that show with Tracy Morgan and Tina Fey that was on 30 Rock. Oh, okay. Grizz from 30, from 30 Rock had uh, brought Young and May to me. He was kept on telling me about it, uh, telling me about her and everything, and that she was. Uh, a really dope rapper and stuff. And she came through and she blazed it and stuff. And you know, I was so inspired by her. I was like, yo, I get you pregnant. You're really dope. You're going somewhere. It's not the right shit to tell nobody. She never talked to me again after that. <laughs> Why would you say you said that? that, right? Yeah, I thought it was a compliment. I'm gonna no, stupid. Was a you did say you learned from your mistakes, bro. Apologize yeah. right now. Young younger man, if you if you're watching, because you now you're you're older MMA. And um <laughs> I just stop, bro. I'm, just, I'm about to fuck it up again. You're about to fuck it up. I'm about to fuck it up. I give you all these opportunities to better yourself, and look what you do, man. You shit on them. Yeah. I, I was going to like make it like a <coughs> mature M.A. Mm -mm. You know, I thought it was not a name. Mm -mm. Got you, because she still want to be young. She still is. She still is young. She younger than a lot of people. Don't, don't bring me into this. Got you, you started this shit, man. No, I didn't, bro. You started this shit. Do you shit. see how was... you always find yourself apologizing for shit that you say? Yeah, you I do. You live on the edge, I come nigga. What's it like? It's like biting into a York peppermint patty. <laughs> <laughs> Brisk. Going down a ski slope, a thousand miles per hour, with my shirt off, snow <laughs> glistening off my nipples. <laughs> That's how I feel on the edge. Okay, so you a controversial motherfucker, bro. I, so, I don't you, feel that way. Yeah, you, you do. You be on the internet yeah. challenging people to fights and shit. No, no, yeah, yeah nah, you do, man. Yeah, yeah. Stop. But Stop then, asking for smoke you know you don't want. Because there's a video. I thought they you. was going to be like, nah, I don't want it, too. Yeah, man, it's a nigga. It's a video of a nigga beating the mashed potatoes out your ass at that boxing <laughs> I didn't thought he was gonna go through with it. And the fuck crazy part was the nigga ain't eat no mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't thought he was gonna he go through. some shit he ain't eat. Yeah, I, I really, really thought the nigga was not gonna show up to this shit. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> stop asking for this shit, man. He you showed can't, up. What you that nigga about? showed Why up. Why would he not? Why would he not, bro? I, I thought he thought that I could whoop his ass. Just dub you right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought my belt out. I had a belt. I was. Oh and no. <laughs> I ain't beat nobody, and nobody ain't beat me. You should have gave that nigga that belt after he whooped you. Here you go, bro. <laughs> you are the champ. Hey, you know, you know what's funny about a boxing match? Yeah, yeah. the motherfucker who lose. <laughs> <laughs> you think that shit gonna go your way? Oh, no, why? you don't. Why? Because when you, shape you, was you in? man, I was chased to this. like a dope you. <laughs> Bruh, you don't even have to see the fight to know who gonna win that motherfucker. It's all about how they introduce that motherfucker. 
The nigga who happy always gonna lose. The motherfucker who don't crack no smile or don't, nigga just be standing there. The nigga came in fully dressed inside a fucking trench coat and some, you know why? some Tim boots, Tim, Timberlands. Was not playing with you. I thought he was fixing to come and say he didn't want to fight. No, oh, okay, no. He, but he was fully dressed. That was his fight outfit. Beat your ass close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, the, the, the whole fight is it's packed out, yeah. man. Uh, young Ama- well, no, I'm sorry, not Young Amanda. Uh, young- Remy Ma had just got out of jail. This is her first live performance. Right. Performing at this fucking fight. Hey, it's me, Clayton English. Have you ever been comfortable at the house and wanted something new to eat? There's always something on DoorDash. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with contactless delivery drop-off settings. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code 85SOUTH2021. That's 85 south 2021. Don't forget, that's 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Subject to change, terms apply. Damn, Jack. And the, the whole cast of power was in there. For real? Yes. Ed, your tummy, Rotimi, fucking your, uh, 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 Joseph Sakura. Star studded. Yeah, it, it was nuts. Right. It, it, it was fucking nuts. It was, and I thought I was just gonna goddamn come in there and, <laughs> and, 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 and it was like, talk some Andy Kaufman type shit. No, <laughs> Why you be having these grandiose oh, visions? Oh, where did bro? you? You thought you was gonna just. I thought I was gonna pull a, uh, pull a Andy Kaufman, bro. Against another grown man. This was nigga fight every fucking week. Every week. He was a real street fighter. And I thought the nigga thought that I could whoop his ass. <laughs> But the why, nigga Jack, knew. Jack, why? Because he was losing every week. But oh. So I thought he thought he could lose him. <laughs> to me, because I had one eye, and I thought he thought he was going to be scared of that shit. Because I talked a lot of gangster shit. It wasn't a lot of niggas that was like fighting him that was talking that type of shit. But the only reason why I lost the fight, let's be honest. They weren't, because that ain't what you're supposed to do, my nigga. Especially if you can't fight. No, I can fight. Listen, I whooped his ass for the first 45 seconds. He was going to work. But one thing I had to learn what? is that a what fight and a minutes? boxing match is three two minutes. different things. It's three minutes? It's, it was three rounds. And, and two minute rounds? Two and a half minute rounds. Jack. And I thought that I had enough stamina Jack. for at least you, three rounds. You, you just be making shit worse than it has to be, my nigga. Dog, if you're in the streets, I whoop that nigga ass. If you, get, if you get a nigga down on the ground in real life, you want to fight. Am I right or wrong? Because normally, you would stump him out. Am I right or wrong? I mean... Am I right or wrong? If a nigga get a nigga down and he start stumping him out, he want to fight, you, right? You, but you can't stump a nigga out inside a boxing match. Okay, and so, so you get the nigga down and you stump him out, he get up and whoop your ass. No, he, I couldn't stump him out because the, the referee wouldn't let me. You got to fight to completion, Jack. Yeah. 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 yeah, and see, that's the point I wasn't privy to. Yeah, you didn't win the first 45 seconds. You, you. pissed him off enough to whoop your ass. <laughs> that's how you felt. You won the him entire up. time. I, so I guess it's perspective. <laughs> the whole time. I guess it's perspective. It depends on who's watching the fight. But you my nigga, I don't never want to see you go through no shit like that, bro. Yeah, man. Because you really ain't supposed to be out here fighting people with one eye anyway. So let's, let's stay right there. You're only supposed to fight. Let's stay right there. Hold on. Let's stay right there. <clears throat> For them first 45 seconds, a nigga with one eye was giving that nigga the business. True or false? Who knows? We're going to pull the footage up. Run it. <laughs> and that's what you don't want. Run it. I'm man. cool with it. No, because you, Hey, bro, I dealt with my shit. Because you was on your Money Mayweather shit. You was on the internet for about three weeks straight talking about how you was going to beat that nigga ass and how he was a bitch and Going posting crazy. his baby pictures and mm-hmm. shit. And you really went all out promoting the fight. You was, and were you, you excited for that me? part? Were you, you excited for me? that part. Now. Were you excited for no, me? No, I was scared for you. No, nigga. Why didn't you try to talk me out of it if you're really my friend? Because, man, yeah. that was at the Ain't time. talking you out of shit, You got to keep in mind when this was going on, this Ain't is when you, you had the shit. money, Jack. You wasn't answering nobody call. That's when you was on your better than y'all shit. Yeah. Well, can, can, with the, the times that you, you die answer the phone for you, 
You ever took into account I might have just got my number changed or my phone might have been off? Jack, I don't give a fuck. When well, the money ran out, you had my number. <laughs> Cause you didn't, I see, I didn't know you was trying to reach me, but I knew how to get back with you. Nah, because I, I had the same number. My number ain't changed. Right, then that's why we hit it. I keep the same number because I'm, I'm arrogant. Why like didn't you tell me you was trying to reach me? Because, it, listen, this is you how I You could have DM me. I keep the same number. Yeah. Yeah. You could have DM me, you could have you told somebody else that you were looking for me, and let me ask you this, do you know that I would have answered the phone if you would've, if I'd have got that information? It's crazy, bro, you gotta keep the same number so people you'll never speak to again will know. They can hit you. They, they could, but they'll Carlo, never, you would me. never answer it. Carlo, mm-hmm. let me ask you this. Which? Don't hit me no more. And well, keep in mind, I'm up in New York by myself. Who gives a shit? See how you do? You are you. You bring me up, then you take me down. I'm sorry. I just, you bring me up. You, you, t- you bring I, I, me up. I know you, bro. Just you in New York by yourself. I'm in New York by myself, man. Okay. You said you were going up there. I was like, nah, man. And you remember you, you? You tried. You told me don't do it. Yeah. You I, said I, it wasn't gonna work. To I wished don't you well. He didn't never tell you it wasn't gonna work. I he ain't, ain't even the type work. of nigga I who would say some shit like that. I was. I was. What is the difference between it wasn't gonna work? Don't do it. This nigga went from it ain't never gonna work. To don't do it. Nigga, I was talking about. Is that the same shit, y'all? Kinda. Yeah. No. Kinda. It all, it, no. Like you said, it's all about you. It's not constru- that's not no. constructive. It's true or false, y'all? You won't construct. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Fuck this. <laughs> Time out. I see what the fuck going on in this motherfucker. <laughs> this your fucking show, and y'all niggas gonna agree with only these no, niggas. Sit down. Sit that's down. what's going on You're right now. You're getting excited, Jack. Where your, is your, your gun? Oh, y'all still can't hear me. <laughs> no. I, <laughs> Is, I'm in the twilight zone out there bit now. <laughs> no, your opinions are too controversial. That's what it is. Yeah. We didn't tell these people not to hey, do it. They just don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got it. Got they it. made their own mind. They you didn't sway any, anybody. It wasn't even the nigga that rolled with you was like, nope. <laughs> Keep in mind that that's your whole goddamn cousin. He, you can't even convince the niggas who with you. That has nothing to do with us. <laughs> God is trying to tell you something, Jack. <laughs> what, 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 what's God trying to tell me, Carl? Talk to hey, him. Man. man. Come Talk on, man. Talk to the Lord. Put, put, put me on. He all in your face. You just don't want to see him. Don't make. Don't even make me go put this robe on, Jack. Cause you know I got. Since I got don't my paper, I, I know you got your, your certificate. Since I got my paperwork, the message has been coming through clear. Now sure you need me to interpret something. If for you don't mind, well, I'm I'm here for it. Lay your burdens down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, with that particular situation, what was God trying to tell me right then, Jack? You you got caught up in the moment. You see, when you go to the carnival, they got all kind of wild <laughs> shit to distract you. You got to stay focused on what the fuck going on. You, you like went up there hell. to be a comedian, ended up in porno movies and shit. Come on, man. <laughs> Bruh, you're wild. Why y'all always bringing up old shit? <laughs> you put comedy down to join the streets, Jack. You really, you a whole thought. <laughs> you done did all the shit that we tried to warn you about. Why you think that nigga said don't do it? Now you got all these cocaine stories. <laughs> I was on cocaine before I left. <laughs> I was on cocaine before I left, man. I don't believe that shit. Yeah, it did 100%. It just got worse. I was able to afford it when I got there. I'm glad you got some kind of excuse because you did a lot of shit that I was just like, what the fuck? Why are you there? <laughs> you are the most, like it'd be good and it'd be what the fuck. No, okay, for so- every good, for every good, how the fuck is Jack Wait a minute. There? This is the perfect time to drop this message because there's a lot of people who watch this show that are not at our age yet. And they don't know that sometimes you have to look around the room. If somebody is doing better than you, outperforming you all the time, don't think it's because you ain't shit. Just keep in mind, they might be on drugs. It's just the, the message that came through at the... Come on. There's a lot of people out here that are taking shit that makes them better than you. Not, this was you, Jack. Your, I'm, co- I'm your a- cocaine was performance enhancing. You know? Look at the shit you did on it. I inspired this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you. Because you can't just talk about drug use openly and then not try to drop some positivity on it. I mm-hmm. learned that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't do drugs. These niggas are smoking drugs in front of y'all. <laughs> that nigga did a whole death commercial, right? 
<laughs> and smoking drugs. This is what niggas didn't want. Jack, when, we, when the shit first came this out. From you. When the shit first came I'm out. I learned this from you. Don't do what I'm doing. Do what, what I'm saying. Bad. You, that's the whole message you've been telling me since you got here. Do. Am I lying? Right or wrong, yeah. Right or wrong. Uh, See? I thought that's what you was telling me. I thought God was telling you to tell me that, Jack. This how this whole show gonna go the whole time. <laughs> Jack, this ain't I'm in the Twilight Zone, right? <laughs> we are just the vehicles that they're using to get these messages across, Jack. Oh. <sighs> It's not that y'all don't fuck with me, it's just that y'all fuck with them. No, we want you, we want what's best for you. What's best no, for you me? You made it happen, bro. I'm letting you know. You made girl, it fucking happen. That, that whatever you it. whatever you said, some of that shit true. Dig, dig. I, I okay, okay. Okay. Now, Most of it. Now you had brought up something, um, Clayton, uh, where you were saying that it was some things that you had seen me on. And you were wondering why I was even there. No, 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 yeah. Why you no, think Clayton be hating on stuff. you? Huh? You be asking questions like you, you think he... No, I was trying to get clarity. Oh, I don't think, no. come on, I don't think everybody hating on me. I think everybody waiting on me. Ooh. If that ain't on Let's the t-shirt, go. you slipping, Jack. Let's go. Jack, you slipping. You don't do merch no more? Come on, man. I came to you for merch. <laughs> the fuck, that's what the fuck is I'm doing here. I came for help. <laughs> I came for help. I came for deliverance. Okay, let me tell you. Let me give you a hundred reasons why I fuck with you, bro. Show this nothing. ain't gonna be one of them shows. Uh, give me some of your top five legendary Jack Thriller interviews. Uh, I would have to go with Mike Tyson. Um, I would say Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes. We get y'all interview Buster Rhymes. He's a he's plethora. a great interview. Big great bro. interview. Great interview. Um, Yo, let me tell you something. That nigga got the coldest voice <laughs> yeah. a nigga ever had. And, and the, the wildest part about it is when it's funny that you say that. Like his voice is so big, and the, uh, uh, that like the, whoever you think he is before you meet him, he doesn't have to meet that because because right. who he, he is is it. enough. He gonna exceed it. Yeah, he exactly. can make anything sound interesting. And Yo, I mean motherfucking breakfast, right? It's eggs, all types of cheese and shit, <laughs> sausages, biscuits, orange juice, and whatnot. Water, you know, I like water. He, I be like, nigga, water. <laughs> what was in the water? I don't know, but um, you know. Yeah, whatever. Did uh, Fifty Cent Come most on, definitely. Um, Bro, you, how do you link up with Fifty Cent? Uh, uh, when I uh, w before I moved to um, New York, me and my uncle were sitting on the couch and everything, and uh, uh, he was uh, we was watching Tevin Smiley, and he was interviewing Fifty Cent. And 50 Hold Cent on, was saying, wait a minute. When you say you and your uncle were sitting on the couch and everything, yeah, what's the and everything? We were just goddamn trying to figure out what was the next move and stuff, you know? Um, oh, I was just was watching Tevin Smiley. We was watching Tevin Smiley in the living room <laughs> every, in, my, in my apartment. And, um, you know, I, I was had already done everything that I could do in, in my mind right. in Atlanta as far as uh, uh, the persona that I was going by at the time and yeah. the grind that I was going. What was, who, who were, here you, were you Jack Here you go, here you go, here you go. Here you go. No, no, no. Here you go. Were you jacked at? Y'all always. Why are you trying to? I'm not like, even, why you? Why are you mm -hmm. trying to bury that part of the story? Because that's, that's an important part of your life. They don't even know. Mm -hmm. I'm asking, are you jacked? Then. He no, jacked I wasn't jacked. Okay, cool. That then wasn't jacked. Go. We can go. Okay. Can you go. got a lot of aliases. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we can go. Gotcha. He could have been. I'm gonna get to that. No, 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 I'm gonna get to that. So we can. You gotta. You can't bury the lead. He go. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Good. And so. um um, we, we, he was saying he was looking for uh, uh, comedians, directors, and um, and actors. He just started a new company called Cheetah Vision. And my uncle was like, hey, man, you should go move up to New York and find 50 and whatnot and uh, just use the same grind that you got down here up there. And it kind of confused me for a second because I was like, I don't know nobody in New York. And um, he, uh, where would I even stay? And I had an uncle that stayed in New York. And Damn. he was like, I called my brother. And I tell him to let you uh, stay at it, stay with him and everything for six months, and see if you can get your shit together. And um, <clears throat> if you can, yo, try to find this nigga. And you know, it just it, just that in itself, you know, it's Fifty Cent. He's an icon already. Right. Um, yeah. Why would he fuck with me? You know, a guy no, from. No, but yeah, why? Why he said that? Your uncle just saw that shit. He and saw. He said it. He saw. And it. he said, "Oh, this nigga got money, Fifty he, Cent." Yeah, you. and he'd fuck with you if you was up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
And um, but it That's from crazy. from what I was listening to on the albums, it didn't seem like it fucked with me. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, cause you was the, you was you was. Cause he real direct about that shit. That nigga got one line where he said, "You getting money? I can't get nothing with you." Then fuck you. Yeah. It's yeah. real. It's yeah. definitely real. Uh, I had um, I took my uncle up on that that offer, and I had told every all the comedians in the game, I'm about to go move to New York and just go try my hand and see what's happening. You know what, what I got to lose? I mean, you know, you only live once. And uh, you know, like I said, I didn't get a lot of. Well wishes, whip this. Everybody was like, "You'll be back in no time." And um, but I had nothing to lose. Um, I had nothing to look forward to. Here, what I I was staying at the time, I was getting evicted from. Mm. Um, I, so I just uh, went up to New York. Um, matter, mind you, hold on. Before I before I went there, I had a chance to go there to visit, and it was with my man Gabriel Hart. We uh, he had a he shout out to Gabe. Yeah, shout out to Gabe. Video God. We he he was shooting a video for uh, Fat Joe. And the locks. It was two different videos, two different days. And you know, he wanted me to be a, 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 a um, assistant or director on the videos and stuff. And so I, I took the ride with him, and we um, we did Fat Joe video, and I made a relationship with Fat Joe that was like him. He don't remember the shit, so I guess I really didn't. You didn't. <laughs> yeah. In your I mind, did. you did. In my mind, we was friends. Right. <laughs> then the next day, we did the locks video, and uh, you know, I, I, um, I, funny thing on the locks uh, locks uh, set. It was a dude that came on the set while I was outside. And the, the video was called Chase That Paper. And we was on Dunbar and DeKalb mm. in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. And, and he had said some shit like, hey man, listen. No, he, he was like, yo son, the locks is in there. Yo, tell them niggas they gotta come out here and they gotta pay me to shoot the fucking video on this block. You're not gonna come up in our situation and got them just, you know what I'm saying, shoot shit up here without checking in. And I was like, nigga, I don't want to tell them that. I don't know these niggas. <laughs> what the fuck? He said, nigga, I'm going to slap the shit out you if you don't go in there and tell them niggas that shit right now. I believed him. <laughs> he told you that? He told me that. I went in and I saw, I, I, I said, hey, Gabe, it's nigga, niggas downstairs. They said they going to goddamn tell this whole video shoot down <laughs> if we don't tell the locks to goddamn pay them some money. He said, well, go tell them. I said, nigga, you tell them. So we were going back and forth. And he's like, nigga, he pushed me to them niggas. And I said, hey, take the kids. Um, it's a guy outside. He says that you got to pay him to shoot the rest of the video here and whatnot. Or he's going to tear this motherfucker down. Yep, that is. And Jada kids, he was like, hey, show me where he at. I got to show you where he at. You want me to point the nigga? It's a nasty nigga making me a snitch. And when I, so I, I go out, even, and, and I, I'm like, yeah, this is him right here. This is the guy that's, he said he's gonna fuck this whole shit up. If you don't, and they start slapping the nigga and whooping his ass wait, up wait, the whoa, street. Whoa, 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 that's enough. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't know if you're supposed to be telling that story. Yeah, yeah, well, the Yeah, we've edited. been seeing a lot of things, strange things. The it wasn't, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it was some people. Okay, so, so let's skip over that part. Names oh shit. yeah, it was just. A, let's skip was, over that part, right? It yeah. was, you kind of get the picture of what probably would have happened. See, this is why people stay mad at you. Gotcha. You can't be saying shit like that. Not the way to the internet, <laughs> right? Motherfuckers going in Brooklyn gonna go back. Go back to oh, October 2012 <laughs> video shoot. It was on nine. See, well, March. <laughs> <laughs> It was March 31st. Shut the fuck up, March man. 31st. And it was about like 2.30. No about nobody yeah. else. God damn. And and, uh, so I had called Rob Stapleton and I was like, Shit, I need to, <laughs> I need to, to, to if, if, while I'm up here in New York, let me see if I'm funny in New York and whatnot, man. Hey, yo, Rob, hey, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm here in uh, New York because when Rob would come to uh, Atlanta, I would drive him around to his show. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, we're going to get there later, right? Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> So, I, 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 Rob was like, I'm finna book you at the dugout tonight and I'm finna book you at Mocha's in uh, Harlem. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, he, he booked me at uh, Mocha's. I go up there with Smokey and shit, and then like, uh, Smokey asked me what my name is. I was like, hey, my name Honey Bun. I'm, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, do comedy here tonight. He was like, what? I, I said, yeah, I'm trying to do comedy. He said, no, what's your name again? I said, my name is Honey Bun, but it's with a Z. A Z makes it masculine. And um, he was like, he, Hey, he, he was tripped the fuck out. He introduced me. 
I did well. <laughs> I left there with Corey Fernandez is driving me around, by the way. Shout out to Shout Corey, Corey Fernandez. Fernandez. Corey Fernandez takes me to the dugout. I'm um I'm featuring for Capone this night by way of uh Rob Stapleton, and this is at Yankee Stadium. All of this is amazing to me. I go up there and I rip in front of Capone. Capone comes to me before he go on stage and say, yo, give me a number. Let's talk about this shit after I get off stage. I, uh, uh, um, he, he go up and do his thing, but while he was doing his thing, I met this girl. She was like, hey, want to give you some pussy? We'll go back to her house, she give me some pussy and shit. I forgot to talk to Capone. <laughs> Capone called me 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, yeah, did it be, maybe it was New York, bitch. I ain't had no, I'm trying to see if, if this pussy's the same as in Atlanta. But anyway. We had, uh, uh, Capone hit me up at 6 a.m. in the morning. He's like, nigga, I got $2,000 worth of shows for you and whatnot, let's get it popping. I'm like, Dah, I don't live here. I live in Atlanta. And he was like, nigga, what the fuck you doing in Atlanta? You need to move here. And I'm like, damn, my uncle did say that I could come up here for six months and shit. So when I got home, I told my uncle, hey, yeah, let's run that. I moved up there August 6, 09, and, um, uh, uh, to, uh, in, in Harlem, off 146 between 7th and 8th. And, um, uh, I uh, went to Times Square and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, man, what the fuck am I gonna do here? How the fuck am I gonna find 50 Cent here in all of this shit? Yeah, I, 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 I see two guys that recognize me from doing sketches with Lil Duval and whatnot. And it was like, hey man, can we do, like, do some sketches for you and whatnot? You ain't gotta pay us. You know, we'll just throw the shit up on our platform just to let us, you know what I'm saying, take credit for it. So I was like, all right, first sketch we did together was a Michael Vick uh, interview. Shit went viral. We went viral. I called uh, Carlos. Carlos helped me, you know what I'm saying, get some of the, the rhetoric down for the, the, the shit. And, yeah. and one of the sites that picked it up, along with all the other hosting sites, was thisis50.com, uh, Vlad TV, and worldstarhiphop.com. I was like, oh shit, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is how I'm gonna find 50 Cent. So I went on to shoot more of these viral videos. Four months later, uh, 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 50 Cent hit me, Vlad TV hit me, and Worldstar hit me, wanted me to be uh, personalities on their uh, platform. And I went with 50 because that's who I came up here to meet. And it really happened. Mm -hmm. And so I meet him, he, he uh, makes me a G-Unit comedian, puts me on Sirius Satellite Radio, and then I start doing interviews for thisis50.com. They, they don't give me any direction on how to be Jack Thriller. You don't need no direction. I you don't can't know. tell a nigga like you That's how to do up, what bro. the fuck you do. Right. That's what's up. I already knew what to do. Right. He already trusted me with that situation, and pretty much the rest is history from there. And then we just, you know what I'm saying, pretty much take it, took it to the moon, because it was on a, at a particular time when, you know, he was battling back and forth with Rick Ross, and, and you know, it, he was kind of losing. But when we did this goddamn, um, this is 50 shit, this shit had then got brought a whole nother life change, the way niggas do interviews on platforms, and it's took yeah. over the world. I mean, so I'm a lot of these niggas daddy that do interviews on yeah, websites right now. That's why we don't do interviews, we just be here talking. I wasn't talking about y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then not. Cause I call that dude that beat your ass on the bus. <laughs> yeah, so that's how that happened. <laughs> that's how that happened. Yeah. So the honey bun thing, right? Huh? So oh uh, my, what, my what, stage name was Honey Bun before it was Jack Thrill. What was it? It was Honey Buns, but it was with a Z. The Z makes it masculine. Yes, and you would say that every yeah. time. 100 percent That's what you have to keep in mind. You would you would always whenever somebody would question your yeah. shit, mm -hmm. that would be your response. 100 percent The Z make it masculine. And where that came from is Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric the Entertainer used to have this joke about delicious. Mm. Yeah, I'm not finna call no grown ass man delicious. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was the funniest shit in the whole fucking world. There was a joke about a guy that wanted you to call him some shit that made people uncomfortable, but you remembered it and it stood out and it made me laugh my ass off. I was 14 years old to the point where like, if I ever start doing comedy, I need a name like Delicious, but not Delicious because people don't know that's where the fuck it came from. So at the time, it was some shit called the chat line in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. The chat line is like the internet on the phone. Yeah. 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 And so me and my brother would be on the chat line. I got a brother that we just a year apart. Uh, he's younger than me. And um, we would be on there meeting girls in, uh, at a uh, fucking Avondale Mall, the fuck, uh, the underground mall. You know, every, everybody, that's what they would own that type of time. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, one day I was on the chat line and I was in this room and it was a, a, a dude, I was talking to this girl and this dude came in. He said, hey, my name is Honey Bun. I hope your mama died by. And I bust out laughing. I thought it was the funniest shit in the whole fucking world. And, and, 
And then he oh, came. What? what was he watching? What I was on the, in the chat. The, on, on the chat line. That's what the motherfucker said. On he the said, chat. "My name is Honey Bun. I hope your mama died by." <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to the next room, and I was just like, probably thirty minutes later, and I'm just chilling and shit, talking to this another girl and whatnot. And nigga coming again. Hey, my name is Honey Bun. I hope your mama died by. And I laughed the same way I laughed the first time I had heard. <laughs> Go into another room 15 minutes later. Same nigga come in. Hey, my name is Honey Bun. I hope your mama died by. And I laughed the <laughs> same way again. And I was like, that's it. That's my delicious. That's who I'm going to be when I start showing. Line, my nigga. Yeah, come from child. I'm 14 wow. years old. So what I was. Uh, you was 14 I, when I you was 14 said, years I old. I was myself Honey Bun. I was 14. Hold on. This is, this is a good part right here. I had dropped out of school, right? So At I had, yeah, I, done. I was done. My okay. mom, mom, I, I had then got goddamn expelled out of fucking school, go fighting every day, got into a wow. fight with this girl. She was fine as hell, she looked like friends <laughs> and whatnot. <laughs> My name was Adrian or some shit like that. Bro, I'm but, so yeah. fucking done with this nigga, man. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you out of school, you don't got nothing to do. You trying to figure life out? What's gonna happen to me next? Bro, you dropped out of school. In nine, yeah, I went in and went. I was read reading in high school. I went in '96, came out '96. And you beat a girl. Ass. I, 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 I didn't went beat a girl. '96, came out. I, 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 I didn't win. She I didn't win. Fight. She, she had she, to fight. You know, she beat my ass. She had to fight. She definitely <laughs> beat my ass. She had to fight. Because you, you know how the motherfucker's so fine. You like, I'm not gonna hit you back. Oh, Y'all have had that one of fight. No. I was feeling no. on the wild shoe whooping my ass. But anyway, um, I was calling into the Ryan Cameron Morning Show every morning on Hot 9, it was Hot 97.5. And what you were saying? And like, I, was, I was Honey Bun on it. And like, hey, my name is Honey Bun, what's going on? How y'all doing? Blah, 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 blah. Ryan thought it was a great character. And he'd invite me to the morning shows to come do the morning show with him and Rashawn Ali. And I, I would do that shit for like the next two years. <laughs> And oh, 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 I had uh, got this job at AmeriCorps. AmeriCorps, uh, 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 um, I was 17 years uh, old at this particular time. And I'm calling into the Ryan Cameron Morning Show. I'm, 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 this job that I have, they, they taking me to, to uh, 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 elementary schools and shit to teach kids how to read. But they don't know I dropped out of school. <laughs> I could barely read myself, but I was good enough for kindergarten through fifth. So anyway, one of the girls that was I was working with, she worked at Phillips Arena. At this particular time, it was the Kings of Comedy was coming to town, and I was like, Wait a minute, bro. <laughs> you talked to kids. Yeah, uh, as bruh. honey buns. It, no, I was for Randy Pride. Okay, okay. Bruh, no, this Randy nigga Pride. about to kill me, man. For Randy Pride. For Randy Pride, that's what my real name is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. You was your real name. Yeah, my, okay. my real name was Ferrani Pride. Don't say your name. You ain't got to say your real name. <laughs> so it was, yeah, Mr. Pride. People would call me Mr. Pride. Gotcha. And, and um, uh, so so the girl, she worked with me. She worked at Phillips Arena. Bro. And when the, when the Kings of Comedy came to town, I asked her, could she give me some tickets to that shit? And she gave me some tickets to go see, to Phillips Arena to go see the Kings of Comedy. And Ryan Cameron was opening up oh, for the Kings of Comedy. And oh, in front of 20,000 people, and I was like, oh, shit. And he was ripping that motherfucker, too. That's what the fuck I am. That's what I want to be. And that's how the whole comedy thing Shout started. So right next here. week, I went to the Chris Tucker Comedy Club and whatnot. And, uh, Chris Tucker, yep, had that spot. Yeah, you remember that shit? Yeah. And the Keys. I ain't go up there. I wasn't doing comedy then. Oh, you weren't doing comedy then? Yeah. The I Keys and um, Steve down. Brown was on the show that night. And they let me open up for him and whatnot. And I did fairly well. Good enough to go come back. And uh, that's how I started doing comedy, as Honey Buns. But nobody was fucking with that Honey Bun shit, because that was, at the time, it wasn't cool to be gay and whatnot. But I wasn't gay. But people didn't know that I wasn't gay, because my name was Honey Buns. So then, like, it was hard trying to convince niggas, no, I'm really, I'm not gay. That's just what my name is. I'm Honey Bun. <laughs> 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 and so they, now, if people looking at me like I'm a fake gay nigga, and whatnot, <laughs> name Honey Bun. But then at the same time, why I was, you name yourself that? Because this, I named just because I why named. Why is that your name? Yeah, and then my finishing joke, because I was a stripper at the time too. I was stripping at pinups. I would strip down to my chaps and, and whatnot, and da 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 da. So it just the Honey Bun thing made too much sense. I had blonde hair. 
I had a chain shirt on, so people thought they didn't want to. Niggas didn't want to fuck with me, man. And so I was making it hard for myself. They knew. Yeah, I was making it hard for myself. But if you got to know me, you were like, oh shit, the nigga not gay. Yeah, I fuck with him. He's pretty cool. But you would look at you and you'd be like, he got that chain shirt on. Yeah, and the chain under his regular shirt. Yeah, and I had a tearaway pants and shit. Yeah, it, it was a lot. I was doing too much. I was in my way. No, nah, but it was But not, I was trying to find myself. You. you figured it out. Yeah. Shock value. Yeah, it was the shock value thing. So I was I would, I would working at pinup, stripping, I was doing comedy, and I was working at the Velvet Room bouncing at the same goddamn time. So I was bouncing niggas out the club, would come see me at Uptown Comedy Club, and like, hold on, that's the nigga that kicked us out the club last week, man. So nigga they went out their way to boo me at the comedy club. You know what I'm saying? So it was just all a big clusterfuck at the same time. And so that's how that happened. Yeah, very Get interesting you, life, like Joe Dirt. Dig, dig. Oh, oh. Shit off the ground now. That's, you know, the African. Yeah, Torrey Designs, by the way. Once again. Yeah, man. Black business. Jack, bro, you, you crazy as hell, man. I wouldn't say that I was crazy. I would say there was a method to my madness, and then I just, um, I, 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 I was just trying to you just push the, push the envelope and, and figure out Exactly what my place inside the game was and whatnot, and I, I wasn't I, I wasn't scared to be what I wanted to be, <clears throat> and but I always knew it was gonna be some shit that was gonna help push the culture for, uh, forward and that was gonna change the game. I, I always knew that, mm -hmm. so I didn't I ain't give a fuck what you thought about me. Who the fuck is you? Who me? <laughs> <laughs> you uh, no, no, who he figuratively. Oh. Figuratively. Oh, Meaning, that was the attitude. Yeah, yeah. I'm if, high, if, bro. If, I didn't know. Hey, um, Carlo, if you go back, Clayton, if you go back, <clears throat> man, did did I give a fuck about what niggas thought about me? Not at all. And, and, and even a little bit. Not at all. And if you had a problem with me, we could do we could we could do it in any kind of way you wanted to do it. But I didn't want to fight you. But if you wanted to fight me, we could do it. Oh. Uh, we could do it. We could do it. But I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I will. But I, I will. We seen a lot. If of, that's what you like, we have seen a lot of legendary fights on those comedy nights. Yeah, a lot of legendary nights. Uh, lot, lot ain't of nothing like it. Ain't nothing like an Atlanta show where a fight break out and the show keep going. The and the show, show must and see, go. And see, and that's the thing too. Pistols don't get pulled. That show continue. And, and see, that, that, that's what people Usually. gotta understand that life do go on no matter who you mad at. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You got a lot of quotables, man. One of my favorite ones is. One man's trash is another man's garbage. What did that mean to you, Carlos? Hey, man. What did that mean to you? <laughs> May I get another water, please? Here you go. I got one right oh, okay. here. Okay, thank you so much. God damn! Lost, I got that Jeezy story. The Jeezy story? Man, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of them joints. Man. You done told it. I told a Jeezy story. You did. You Would y'all like to hear the Jeezy story? <laughs> Hey, um, Carlos, time out. Fuck this, I did this wrong. Is, Carlos, it? ask some dude they want to hear the Jesus. No, you, you just did. You just did. Bruh, fuck this, man. It's your show, nigga. No, it ain't. I can see what the fuck going on here, bitch. Yeah, it is. No, you, you straight. It, Carlos says. Jack, you welcome. This is the trap house. Ain't no rules in here. Rain, I'm just in Okay, this. just just to humor me. Humor you. Humor me. Humor you. Jack. Humor, humor me. Jack. Okay. Hey, humor me. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. For me. Everybody for me. know you the wildest for me. nigga in the for game, bro. For Tell me. us the Jesus story. Humor Please. Please. Please, Jack. Do it my way. Do it my way. Humor me. Do okay. Do y'all want to hear the Jesus story? That's me. Do y'all want to hear the Jesus story? Yeah! <laughs> Anything for you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this is 1996. Um, we Onyx. Uh, it's myself. No, it's not. <laughs> oh shit! It's what 2006. I'm high. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. I'm, I'm sorry. No, the fuck is not. It's, 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 it's I'm not. high. I'm high. It's not. I'm not. No. <laughs> I was wondering where I lost you at. I was like, no. Like, what you mean? Started, I like, how the fuck was, you gonna tell me that this happened in 1996? I thought he was doing a bit. I was like, man, let this nigga go. It's like, 1996. No. Yeah, oh my yeah God, we were on 96 no. too long. No. <laughs> yeah. When was it? it? It was 2006. 
That sounds like more accurate. Flat. That's more accurate. Yeah, 2006 um, at, at Onyx, and I was with uh, Food Stamp and Chris Jones. And we was at a Jeezy video shoot, on a, and the shit was called Throw the Money by uh, Slick Puller and uh, Blood Raw. And the, the whole concept of the video you know what I'm is yeah, throwing the money. Throw this money. You remember that shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna throw this money. money. Yeah. Go on, shake that ass, bitch. I'm gonna throw this money. Yeah. Go on, shake that ass, bitch. I'm gonna throw this money. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, the nigga, uh, uh, Jesus was like, hey, let's get the comedians and shit in here and let's, you know what I'm saying? You're like, they gonna start throwing the money first and shit and then we're gonna blend everybody in. It's like 100 dancers on stage. And they had gave us like, like, Bags of money to throw. So Jesus said, let's get the comedians in here. Yeah, he said that. And then, mind you, they okay. gave us complimentary cocaine and cool. everything come through the door and whatnot. Well, so, shut your ass up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Ain't nobody yeah. gave you no it, good people, deal. People, I was going to sell it. That, no. But it was fun. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. You don't go get somebody in. You night. know how you go to the club and they give you free shit. drinks. Nope. And, no. I don't know shit. Nope. And you know, this Jesus is Mr. 17.5. Nope. Man, shut the fuck up. You know, you can't quarantine. get on here talking about somebody <laughs> gave you some complimentary. It was complimentary. He didn't sell it to me. Hey, man. He was looking out for me. Okay. Yeah. It's your story, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come on. This, this, is, this is my interpretation of a situation. All right. Yeah. So, it's your story. D. Um, so anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, we, 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 we got the money. We about to uh, throw the shit, the videos in full swing and shit. And, you know, while we over here, like, acting this whole thing out, it, it just dawned on me that... This money's real, and it's hundred dollar bills. At first, when you're looking at it, you like it ain't no fucking way they gonna give us goddamn a whole bag full of hundred dollar bills just to throw and she just trust us to do this shit. It doesn't make sense to me. No matter how many thugs are in the room, no matter how many guns and all other stuff that's inside of here that could make it impossible for you to get out with your life, and you know, all it doesn't sound right. You gonna just trust us with this money? But it was some that was just inside of me, man. I, I'm not a thief either. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this out there. I'm not a thief. Uh, but it's something about a hundred dollar fucking bill, and especially when you ain't doing well in life, yeah. and that, 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 that just got down had me fucking turned all the way to fuck on. The temptation. Right. The temptation, right. bro. Mm -hmm. you, you don't right. do that front. Right. You don't do that shit in front of a nigga that needs that shit. You, you don't damn sure don't. You, 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 you don't. You don't. Peasants. So goddamn, I had then uh, had the money and I was throwing and I was like grudgingly trying to peel it off my fucking hand <laughs> and whatnot. And you know what I'm saying? I like, man, let me see what complimentary cocaine. <laughs> Sniff that shit. I had on these pants that had scrunches on the bottom. Kind of like these. Um, and you know when your, 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 your pants is a scrunchie, it's automatically a bag now. It's a fucking bag. I done filled my whole pants up with fucking hundred dollar bills and whatnot. I look like I got booty shots. I done went to Dominican Republic whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Food stamp, he's scared out of his fucking mind. <laughs> Uh, Smokey, Chris Shout Jones, he, they was, Shout they was terrified because they was with me. Damn. And they thought it was Damn. all for one, one for all. Bruh. They could have sworn that we all was going to die together that night. And, uh, and, and I was like, no, you not. But you should. What were they saying to you? They were telling me to stop stealing the money because they see me stealing the money. <laughs> and I told them, I don't fucking care. The food stamp was like, yo, honey bun, they gonna kill you, bro. <laughs> and I looked at him back, just coked up crazy. I like, nigga, they gonna have to. Cause I'm not leaving here without this fucking money, bro. I'm not leaving here, bro. I don't understand why the fuck y'all are not stealing this fucking money. This don't make sense to me. I don't get it. I don't understand why nobody else inside this room is stealing the money with me. <laughs> I don't get it. It's real money. It's hundred dollar bills. I can see you letting a couple of ones slide. I can, I can see it. There you go. I He's can see it. showing the video. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> so, it, it's crazy. 
is pandemonium. The hoes is excited. They're excited. They're, they, 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 food stamp, they look excited, but they were really scared. They were terrified. For you. I mean, they were terrified for them. They didn't care about what was going to happen to me. They just didn't want whatever was going to happen to me to spill off on them because they was with me. <laughs> and I didn't want it to happen to them too because I've had my ass whipped before and I know trouble don't last always. <laughs> I know whatever that's about to happen, I'm going to heal from it. We're going to get past this. This too shall pass. But what we're not going to do is leave this fucking money here. <laughs> So I, I, I waited a couple of more takes till I couldn't fit no more money, more money inside my pants and shit. And I knew it was worth it to die. Stuffed. And stuffed, oh nigga, I was a stuffed animal. <laughs> <laughs> and so they, 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 uh, I can see niggas looking at me, all the goons, all the thugs, the, B, the BMF niggas, they was looking, looking crazy. And I couldn't, I, I thought, I didn't know if they was on the same page with me. Or they was on some. What you mean? On, on the same page with me, like, go, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Why would they be like that? Cause they want You want to see a nigga win. You no, want to see a real nigga winning out here. It's a lot of shit that I was doing. Their heart wouldn't let them do. They wanted to do it. And niggas, when they don't, don't ever get it twisted. Niggas want to see a nigga, uh, the, the villain, get away with the money. It's true or false. You want the nigga to get the fuck away. You heard about that girl the other day on the news and shit that got the $1.2 million in her account? It would have been great back. if it went her way. Wow. Right. She tried to put it in another account and everything. She tried to put it, it, it did. Shit, I'm going to switch this. She switched accounts at the same bank. You know what? Just, uh, I, I want to make my draw. <laughs> I want everything. <laughs> 37% too. Come on. I knew it was time to leave. Right. I made my way towards the door after the next take. Yeah. I was walking through there, valleys of the shadow of death, and I would fear no evil. Come for on. thou art with me. Come on. And what you walking? You just I, walking past. How far I was to walking the door? To, man, how far the door? Man, you see how far that door is right there? Yeah. It was about another length of, from where I am right here. It was double this okay. to the door. Okay, to the door. Yeah, dog. it was double that to the door. All right. And so I, w I was walking to thugs and shit with guns and knives and all that other stuff and alligators, all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I could, in my mind, they said, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I was getting closer and closer to the door. And all of a sudden, this nigga get in front of the fucking door, Jeezy bodyguard. This nigga look like the last nigga you got the goddamn kill on Killer Instinct, man. <laughs> and he said, hey, nigga, what the fuck is you doing with my nigga Jeezy money, man? Take that motherfucking money out your pocket, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he it's said, the money is for the bitches. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, nigga, I'm one of the bitches. <laughs> and then he said, man, Dow, what the fuck is you doing stealing the money? I said, I'm behind on my ties and my rent late and shit. As soon as I said that nigga slapped the shit out of me like 17, eight, like 17 times. But it was real fast. It was so fast I didn't know he did it. Only way I knew he did it, because I was looking around and the nigga was like, <laughs> and like, oh shit, this nigga just slapped the shit out of me. And so and I knew. You got slapped by the other people's reactions? By reactions, because it was in slow mo and everything. <laughs> and so I knew that I couldn't, I wasn't gonna uh, win this fight going straight up with this nigga. Damn. And so I pulled back, I hit this nigga in the chest, knocked him down, ran over him like the Kool Aid man, knocked down strippers <laughs> trying to get the fuck up out the door. I was just Donkey Kong in my way out that motherfucker. Kicked open, I kicked open the fucking door I thought was locked. It wasn't locked. My foot went through the glass, all that shit. Cut my leg up right here. All this shit was cut up. You saw money and blood coming out my leg right here. Oh, this nigga <laughs> yeah. did, I'm running down Treasure Bridge Road. It's fucking $100 bills for like flying through the air. I go back and I grab the $100 bills. I thought it was niggas chasing me, but it wasn't nobody chasing me. Nobody was chasing me. So you ran, nobody was chasing no me. No one was chasing me. I run down the street to a Holiday Inn and I jumped in the bushes. <laughs> like on a cartoon. <laughs> and you know when you, you see a nigga jump in the bushes on the cartoons, it looks safe enough. Soft. It looks soft, it wasn't. <laughs> I scratched my whole body and my face up, all that in the bushes. 
And I stayed there real still with fucking twigs in my ass, in my arms, all of that shit. And I was trying to stay quiet. And I pulled my phone out of my pocket and I called Carlos. And I said, Carlos, come get me. Jeezy trying to kill me. I'm at a Holiday Inn down the street from Onyx, man. Please, please. Please, and he kept on asking me all the questions. I said, nigga, come get me, motherfucker. He thought I was playing or some shit. And he comes, picks me up. And I get home, and I count all the money up. And um, food stamp and, and uh, uh, smoking, Chris, they asked me would I split the money with them, and I told them to kiss my motherfucking ass. <laughs> Go to hell, bitch. Amen. And I tried not to talk to them since. Amen. That's fucked up. For not having my back. You know how this no. thing is, bro. He'll call you and say any fucking thing. So, like, who knew he was really out there? <laughs> Still. The whole time I'm doubting you. This nigga ain't out there. Fucking pick up out the bushes, bro. This <laughs> shit crazy. <laughs> Still. Hey, man. And he picked me up, man. He can't. This is what friends do. He picked me up, man. Thank you, bro. Y'all give it up for color. Fuck that. Don't clap for me. <laughs> Don't shut up. And then what he do? He didn't ask me for no gas money or nothing. He took what, he, what he did after he picked you up? Yeah, dropped him he, off. He, he dropped me off. I don't, he, I don't even think he knew what the whole scope of the story was. I didn't, man. And that nigga stayed far, too. <laughs> I, I, I stayed trying to kill me. That, yeah. Right. It, that's, that's, that's when you, when a nigga, too, hey, right. you know, it, 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 it makes sense to me, but now that I really recount the whole thing, I see why he didn't believe me. Bruh. It does sound sick. Because when you call comedians, they be bullshitting so much, bruh. You never know if they talking shit for real or, or not. Man, what you up to? Shit, just working this shift up here at Waffle House. I get off at 1 30. Quit bullshit. No, for real. Man, shut your ass up. I'm getting off the phone. Comedians bullshit too much. Hey, bro, bro, hey, let me ask you this, though. How often would I bullshit? All the time. That's what you remember? Man, you a bullshitting ass nigga. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Clay, like, that's how you remember me, too? No, no, no. Not, I mean, it's two ways. Yeah, when you get on your bullshit, you bullshitting, but you be on some <laughs> real shit another 30%. Bruh, every time I see you, man, you be on some bullshit. What does bullshit mean? But I'm just Define saying, bullshit. Not, it's just, just Jack Thriller shit. You doing shit like that. You know, oh, I, I, I get it, I get at, it. At but, any moment, you might do some random ass strange shit. Okay, I see what you're going with, so, so I got you. But it ain't like you, are, like, like, oh, here he go, man. Right, right, like, right. You just never I only know. do a shit that affect me. Yeah. It, it ain't, I never brought nobody down with me. That's what I'm saying, you live yeah. on the edge. Bro. Yeah, 100% and, and I'm accountable. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I'm super accountable. I never put nobody inside of my shit. Right. Yeah. And whatnot. And so I, I, I think that that's something that's always been a um, one of my strong points. You're yeah. larger than life. That's what they. That's the that's how they. That's how they size it up. Yeah. yeah you live in. Because you know what? Life. Like I said before, I, I understand that you know you only live once, bro. And like, you, if you don't do this shit the way you want to, you'll be on your deathbed saying, "Hey, I played it way too safe." Do you want to be that nigga? Nah, bro. Because you live more than once. You live every day. Mm. You die once. Mm -hmm. I see what you tried to do. Mm -mm. That's what happened, Jack. Yeah. They don't believe that. You, you live once, Carlos. And just like you You're said, you're lucky enough once. to wake up every day. And just like you you're, said earlier, yeah. Fuck what they think, and not them specifically. Yeah. You, you, come on, Jack. You can't just be saying shit you ain't living by. No, one hundred percent. And I, I, uh, every day, like I said before. Uh, I, I, um, I really you know what I have if I give a fuck what they think, Jack? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't build this empire giving a fuck what no one thinks. It's all me, baby. I take the risk, so I do the cutting. And hey, at what point did you get there to that space inside of your life, Carlos? Jack, I ain't never gave a fuck. I'm talking about from the first day I went outside. I'm talking about right off the porch. I ain't give no fuck. Never did. Fuck, I want to be like them for. I, I never seen you uh, imitate anyone. 
No, I never seen it. Well, I'm telling you, my motherfucking thing, Jack. <laughs> I don't do imitation. No, n- never did. Man. Never do it. No any, impersonation. Man. No man. You I, always mastered the art of being colorful. I'm the, I'm authentically me at every chance I get. One hundred percent. Yes, yes, very much so. Good, and, bad, and ugly. And one thing about Carlos too, man. Uh, I remember when he first got here. You know, he hit the ground running. One of the first guys I met when I came here. Shawty, Shawty, the first comedian that I seen perform in Atlanta, though. Where you saw him perform? Oh, I was staying out here by Club Babes at a hotel. And and he was, yeah, he was hosting the amateur night at Babes. Mm. He was talking shit, too. He was was on fire that night. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, Chuck. No, for real. This was probably about. Crazy. This was probably in 04. This was even before I moved <coughs> to Atlanta. Mm. Yeah. So shout out to Shaw to Shaw. Yeah, shout out to Shaw to Shaw to Shaw. Yeah. But then when I came for the coming to the stage audition, I met you and K Dub and No, you no, you did shit before that. What? You did uh Hell Day? No, that was after. That was, that, was, that was after? Yeah, coming to the stage was probably in what, 04? You did Yo Mama? Y'all remember Yo Mama on MTV? That was all after that. That was after, too? All of that was after. Wow. Yeah, that was like 07. Yo. Wow. Yeah, okay. We started in 05. When did you move to New York? Oh, 09. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, we started in 04, 05. Mm. Yeah. We, man, there was, was a lot happening in a short period of time. The, the point yeah. I was trying to make, even with saying all that, that you always been doing your thing and you came I'm out always the gonna be doing my thing. Yeah, you 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 yeah. You, you, you you always you knew exactly what you wanted to do. And Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, you took it to a whole nother level. And well, I, just I, know that all the work that you put in under whatever name that you're choosing to use is not in vain. Mm. Man, you had some legendary moments out here in these streets, and we saw you come with a lot of creative new directions that wasn't, you know, going from a perspective that a lot of people wasn't coming from. And you actually put in the work to make the shit work. 100%. You, it's work, about put bro. yourself on, bro. Don't wait yeah. for nobody else to do nothing for you. Yeah. You That's put real. people onto a lot of shit. 100%, man. You know, like I said, uh, you, um, we all got the same 24 uh, four hours and shit. You no, know? we don't. <laughs> we don't? No, nah, man. We don't. Well, yeah, what's the difference yeah. between mine and yours? You should've got the pizza. Mm-hmm. Fucking with the pizza people. Yeah, I'm with pizza, pizza. Now, not doing it. Uh, my contract was up on that. Like, it was weed pizza, uh, weed infused uh, uh, pizza, and whatnot. I ain't and, having it in Atlanta though, so. Yeah, but I'm, <coughs> I'd like to start my own little franchise out here. You know, everything opening up now. As soon as they legalize uh, cannabis in in, uh, in uh, Georgia, yeah. we're gonna figure that shit out. They about to legalize it. Yeah, 100. percent In the meantime, we just smoking medical marijuana. Did did. Yeah, for our knees and shit. 100%. Yeah, 100%. We get it. Oh, oh, old nigga shit. My Sciatica. knee. <laughs> my leg, my leg. Ooh, coach, my leg. My leg. Dig, <laughs> dig. Man. Play me some pimping, J-O-N. Me and my nigga Jack Thriller, man. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Welcome. Kill me. Oh, Every time I get with this nigga, I always end up laughing my motherfucking head off. This nigga stupid, bro. Yeah, I you hilarious. You been funny as fuck. You always and we funny, bro. Don't know why you feel like you ain't get that, but you should have. And oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. You don't feel like I what? I feel like what? Like when you were saying you don't like all the politics of the game and shit, as far as the comedy. No, no. When, when I was saying that, what I was saying, um, Clayton is that I just saw something that was a little bit more simpler for me. And I, I, I feel like, don't go against the grain. But check this oh, yeah, out, though. Went, That's what I meant. Yeah. But looking, looking okay. at it in retrospect, this is what you actually did, though. You used your com- comedic talents Mm. to go do something that didn't have shit to do with telling jokes. Right. And that's yeah. the whole point of it. You get what I'm saying? 100%. Doing, show how to doing do stand-up is the how intro to get, that's the vehicle that can get you all the other shit. You right. get what I'm saying? Right. So when you did that, you know what I'm saying? And you took st- your stand-up jokes and all the shit you worked on over the years and you turned it into a whole motherfucking personality enterprise nigga, media company, 105 episodes of some rap shit, 100 and some episodes of This Is 50 dropping every week. Come on, man. You got to get your problems right. Oh, you know? Party and bullshit. Let's not forget party and bullshit. 
Let's not forget part of them bullshit. Multiple yeah. videos, multiple viral sketches. Come on, man. Let, let's not forget, uh, goddamn, uh, I am a, a, a podcast. I do top, I, I make sure niggas get it. I'm in the top five of a lot of niggas' uh, podcasts. Yeah, you be a Of the greatest episodes. Yeah, you done jumped in on a lot of episodes of Drink Champs and shit. You know all the hitters in the game, man. You a fucking... You are really a living legend out here in these streets. 100%. Yeah. You didn't say nothing wrong right there. No, man, I give you all your problems, man. You one of them niggas who really made this internet shit and, and made a lane and gave a blueprint. Shit, you probably made some of this shit possible just by putting that media out. Not looking niggas just sitting there watching us. We try. We it take a long time to figure the internet out. One hundred percent. We drop some 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 short ass content. They ain't want that. We drop some, you know, medium length content. They didn't want. They want the longest fucking shit ever. I don't, I don't know why they love us this much. Well, you know, it's just one of those things like you just got to keep on just throwing things out and see what stick. Yeah. Sometimes we overthink this shit. Right. You know, and then instead of just doing the work, keep on going, keep on going. And when it's God, it's t- uh, when God say it's time to take it to another level, then take it to another level. Jazz, yeah, what it is. <clears throat> on some real nigga shit, though, you had, on some comedian shit, you had one of the last Patrice O'Neill interviews that he did, right? Yeah, 100%, man. Patrice was a really, really amazing guy, and he was a big fan of mine, too. We hung out, and uh, 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 he invited me over to his house and shit, and, you know, and we would just talk for hours and everything before we even did the interview. And um, I didn't know, he never told me that he was dying. I didn't, all that was a shock to me. Yeah. And then when we finally did do the interview at uh, 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 Caroline's on Broadway, um, uh, uh, it was just so... It, it was very spiritual and it was very um, introspective, and, and it was it was real deep. And I appreciate it even more now. Do you have any any interviews or content that you that you got in the vault that you look back on and be like, I ain't even gonna drop it? No, I put out everything, Carlos. For real? Every I put out everything and. Um, you know, I, I got a bunch of different uh, ideas that I want to do, and I got a bunch of different ideas that I would like to reintroduce, like from my the like weekly. Uh, Tell me something. Tell me one. So disrespectful. So disrespectful. Remember, so disrespectful. Let's change it. Let's make it so respectful. So respectful. I like it. Yep. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because I'm <laughs> no, different now. You know, so disrespectful was my shit, but it did get you in a lot of beef. Yeah, it got me in a lot of beef. <laughs> you took the heat for a lot of shit on some comedian shit. 100%. Right. 100%. And then one thing about taking uh, uh, or being that uh, person that, that doing the shop and jock shit, as you like to say. Um, you a risk taker, though. Yeah. Nobody else could do the shit that you do, bro. Yeah, I was lucky. It don't even, it just be your jokes infused into your how you interview. It's your sense of humor. Yeah, and you yeah, know what's saying? funny like, is yeah. like, like you said, motherfuckers who know you know that even if you go out and say some foul ass shit, you the type of nigga who would come up and say, hey man, you know I love you. You want a cookie? Like, and really have cookies and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you that type of nigga. Like, yeah. I, nah, like yeah. I, I ain't never seen you do no shit that was malicious. Even, yeah. That's yeah. The, that's where I was trying to go right there. Yeah, that's what I'm Nothing saying. Nothing that I ever did was malicious. And that's why it's yeah. always fun to be around you because nigga, even when you do say shit that be considered off the charts or off the chain, it ain't never Never know, no shit to be right. like. One hundred percent. I was just playing. It, I yeah. was just kidding. We we entertaining, and that's as far as it goes. It, it, after a while, people started to understand. That's what I would do when you see me on the red carpet. Yeah, I'm a red carpet king. Right. Ain't no yeah. telling what the fuck this. Ain't no gonna telling say. what's gonna happen. But and I ain't know what I was gonna do either. Yeah. You know, I just followed my heart the whole time. That's all you got. That's do. all. Yeah, yeah. Another show. Yeah. Uh, do you think about me? The, a relationship show. Yeah. When well, I'm giving relationship advice. And you got to, but don't be on there being all thirsty now, because by this time you. No, I got a girlfriend now. I'm you cool. didn't had enough pussy yeah, where I'm you good. don't have I'm to cool. keep slugging yourself out. 85 you? South got me a new girlfriend too, man. I know. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Girl, didn't I tell you? All right. Yeah. When you I came to respect, you like Big Red, I, I, I got a, I got, I got a new, a, a, a condo and a goddamn uh, a new job off 85 South with it, uh, this weed brand with my man Wax. You know Wax. You ain't bring me no weed though. I didn't know that we could put it on the table and all that. I did bring you some actually, Carlos. I right. just didn't mm-hmm. bring it out right I now. I was gonna talk to you that. first. Yeah. But this is your show. Bring me some weed <laughs> off camera. Yeah, 100. percent Because I didn't want you to, to go through what. I went through at the video shoot when niggas would give me complimentary. Yeah. You see where I'm going with this? But one thing about me is, 
I don't steal nothing. Yeah. Uh -uh. I didn't steal it. I took that. I don't take either. I took that. No, because... Hey, how many niggas would have did the same shit I did? No. My round of applause. Y'all some puss ass <laughs> niggas, no, man. No, it's just that, you know... Y'all some old. Y'all some real old. You in the room full of motherfuckers who went to college and graduated. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm, I apologize, That's why they don't agree with all no, that No, no, I, I apologize. 100%, man. Hey, I'm really proud it's of y'all. It's not that type of crap. <laughs> I yeah. mean, if you gonna get a lot of people to agree with you in the comments. <laughs> like, they trying to hold Jack, man. That nigga really be... Yeah, man. Not in this room. Look at these people. They got futures and shit. 100%. Yeah. You, you, not a real talk. You uh, Shout out to you once again. Uh, you know, Carlos Clayton and everything, giving these these uh, uh, up and coming young uh, um, black folks and jobs and shit. And but look, look at this. The same way you use your platform to open it up, man. You gotta, it's gotta be bigger than you, man. Hey, bro, what, what did, what did Jay Z say about if you the only millionaire inside your clique, then you, you nigga, you not rich. Yeah. You supposed to put everybody on, yeah. so if you fall off, then nigga can help yeah, you out. And when I understand why, Balance then we out. don't understand yeah. that as a people. If every nigga in your clique is rich, your clique is rugged. Come and on, nobody now. falls, because we Come will all be each so other's crutches. crutches. Come on, now. Yep. Or I, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> to that effect. Hey, uh, Mike Tyson told his story, right? One thing we can't do, though. What that? Drink army from one cup, pass it around the room. <laughs> no, ain't nobody drinking no army there. But that's the ritual. I ain't drinking no army there. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm like oh, the, that, that shit that Jay-Z had that, uh, a long time ago. But I'm like the dog yeah. when it comes to the film. I don't speak, but I understand. 100%. 100%. Mm. But it's important to put your folks on it. Yeah, please. You know, like I said, I, I really appreciate you guys opening up your platform and letting me bring the relationship show. Let me bring the um the uh No, it's not about letting you, bro. It's just like we want this thing to be big, bro. And you the type of motherfucker who know exactly what you are doing. It's not about, you know, us putting you on. And you so much shit you gonna put us on. This is a hard in this shit, damn, Jackie. Damn, Carlos, I didn't, the way the way you put see, see, I like what you're talking about with this right here, man. No, listen, listen. This makes sense hey, to Lou. me. Hey, Lou, hey, Lou, come here. Listen, Jack, we want to bring you to this family. Cause you're an earner, okay? You know what you're capable of. We've seen your work. Now listen, we're gonna cut you in, but you're gonna work your way in. It's not gonna be easy. I know how that works. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm cool on that. <laughs> Just give me the ball. Oh, well, listen. It's not about giving you the ball, kid. What is it about? <laughs> you gotta play the fucking outfield first. <laughs> I'm an angel in the outfield. Remember that movie? That shit with Dover Foot, right? <laughs> you ain't no fucking movie, kid. Okay. <laughs> shit is fucking real out here. Yeah, Jack. You don't look like you gonna ever get old. <laughs> listen. That guy right there, listen, he is never gonna be old. He's as old as he's ever gonna be. How old do you think he is? Niggas are serious. That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good fucking question. One thing you don't do. You look exactly the same as you uh, when I first met you, man. Yeah. But if I was just to, I wouldn't put my eye on it, but if I was to guess. No guess. Don't do shit like that. that. That's, that's negativity and witchcraft neg right yeah. there, Jack. Okay, I'm sorry about that. When you do shit like that on the internet, man, people start getting weird, man. Don't, trust me, man, I do this. Uh, no, 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 you, no, when you, after you had just called me out on it and you were like, I, I see yeah. why that wouldn't be the right thing to do yeah. to another man. Yeah. Is to guess his age or ask him when his birthday is. Yeah, what you gonna do, bake him a cake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you, the fuck? Nigga, when your birthday? It don't matter when his birthday is. This is a question that just you shouldn't be asked. You shouldn't know when his birthday is. You supposed, you supposed to find out it's a nigga's birthday. Why, nigga, oh. it's your birthday? What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Capricorn. Nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> like, niggas shouldn't have shit in common together. I never say that. That's but, not what you say. When you asking niggas when their birthday is, mm. what type of shit is that, Jay? Mm. <laughs> or did you eat yet? Yeah, no. Why are you worried about another nigga well-being? Right. The less you know about a nigga, the better. 100%. Oh. So with that being said, we never ran trains before. Who the fuck is we, Ooh. Jack? <laughs> Who is we? Me and you don't like the same kind of chicks? That's one. I'm, That's why we've been friends for so long. 
I don't hang around niggas that's interested in the type of women I'm interested in. We ain't gonna get along. Hold on, tell me about what kind of women you think I'm interested in? Nigga, I seen the women you be with. <laughs> you ain't never got to worry about Hold me. on, hold on, you, you trying to, is you, is, is, you, is you shitting on my girl? No, I ain't shitting on your girls. I'm just saying you ain't never got to worry about me messing with none of <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. You, you ain't never saw me with nobody you like. Oh. Nobody. If she like you, I don't like her. I, li I, I, I like, like where you're going with this. Oh, hell no. You fuck Jack, I don't want you. <laughs> like she got cooties? <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was just some, some, some bro code shit that no. you were trying to say. Jack. Just like if you try to fuck one of my hoes, she should be offended. 100 but I like what you're doing now, and I 100% agree. It's too many women in the world for us to be liking each other, girl. No, I'm just saying, she's gonna be like, Jack, what, you don't get the fuck? 100%. But if I ever did that, because I never got a really good look at her, and I was like, oh, that's the same girl you were with. You couldn't. I, I don't think you could do it. No, I wouldn't do it. You couldn't. You don't think I can fuck none of your hoes? No. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, my. No. Really? You get a warrant. Are you hear this? Yes. Yes, I hear what he's saying. Jack. Do you believe him? Hell yeah. The nerve. Yeah. Can I, I mean, borrow one too? Let me yeah. borrow one. I mean, is. is that's kind of crazy. Jack, you set Wait, yourself you the same up for failure. You set yourself up for failure. That's a requirement. Hold on, tell me. Clay, you feel the same way? You think I can't fuck none of your hoes? Huh? <laughs> Say what? Hold on now. You, you, so you, you, hold on. Let, let, let's go back for a minute, because I think y'all must have forgot Roy Jones' voice. Bro, we have. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that we forgot. We we've never seen, knew that. We seen, never knew that. We, we never knew that. You seen me what? With a lot of um, model type esque Instagram. I seen you with a few dope boy dams. Seen you with a like few they, was, they was fine in the hood. They ain't seen you with no international stunners now. <laughs> Nothing you could take across state lines. <laughs> and people all done bad. Right. And we all done done good. But just at the, you know, in the in the beginning of the morning, because a lot of people say at the end of the day, in the beginning of the morning, <laughs> I still don't believe you could you could hit none of my hoes yet. Hey, not even none of my old hoes. Not even none of your old hoes. Like the whole, it's like the, a requirement. The, the, the whole of Christmas past, I couldn't do that. The wholest of hoes I've ever had. The wholest of hoes. <laughs> the, the, the ho, 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 miracle on 31st Street. Right. Them type of, you don't believe. I don't. That, the world too big, Jack. So we count ho? No, I'm just saying. Are we count ho? The type of hoes that like me would not, ho, don't like bitches him. that you ever fought. That's how you feel? Yeah. But see, listen, I'm saying there's no overlap. Uh-uh. It would never happen. Ain't never no it, overlap. The Matrix was split Ain't open. Ain't never no look, Venn diagram. There would be a tear in this dimension. That y'all fuck. <laughs> the moment Luke Jack hit one Luke. of my hoes, it's going to be it's a, a, circle, a then 30 minute circle. window where you can cross it to the other dimension. <laughs> <laughs> You can go into the it's other a world. It's a point. Nigga, I'm left handed now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. I, oh. Man, listen. Big Carlos. Yeah, man. I, I, I appreciate it. If that. it make you feel any better. No, I no, no, I don't want to feel any better. I couldn't hit none of yours. I couldn't. I appreciate that. Right. I wouldn't let myself do that. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'm in a relationship right now, so I don't even, one. You safe. Don't put that young lady out there like that. No, no. Because the next nigga she fucking with ain't going to want to know she was fucking with you. I, <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know she's leaving. She's not going anywhere. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why she's not going anywhere. You gonna leave too? No, I'm not. I found a woman that takes me horseback riding <laughs> and pays for it. I found a woman that uh. Where you find that? I found her. Where you find that? I found. Where you find that? 
I, oh, where? Where I, you find I asked God. Where you find her, bro? I asked God. Where, yeah. did, where did you find your girlfriend, Jack? Okay. <laughs> okay. Jack, the where, first time I met no, her. No. Where did you find her? On TV. <laughs> But the first time I met her, <laughs> okay, she who was on TV? You or her? She was. Okay. Yeah, so she didn't know why I was looking at her on there. Okay. But listen, the first time I uh, 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 met her in real life was when I was uh, here, when I moved here for the situation, for the yeah. partnership. Have y'all went public yet? No, I don't think this well, is Stop telling idea. the story then, Jack, because no, no, you'll fuck around and be like, man, I was... No, you're you going to find out. I ain't going to. You're going to find out. Okay, Jack. Yeah, it, we, public is not a problem. Oh, okay. It's, that's not, that's, it ain't well, a problem. Well, let's, just let's hint at it and then we'll... No, 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 all I'm, what I want to say is, the reason why this shit going to work this time, because I'm going to do something I never did do. And this, this ain't about being funny and no shit like that. Okay. We, cut the music. Let's we, be serious. We, 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 finna get, we finna get help. We're going to get therapy. We're going to get couples therapy. You going to do it? We're going to do it. We gonna find out. You what, j how long you been with her? I mean, shit, about, like, about a month. And, and y'all already in therapy. No, we finna get in some therapy. We cool with. We done <clears> talked <throat> about. We know all our triggers and shit like that. Cause you know I'm an interviewer, so I put everything out on the table off the rip. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. I don't. I ain't putting shit on the table. But you, Carlos, you don't want to be in love. You don't know my life, Jack. The fuck I look like showing up every time putting this same shit on the table. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. Damn, you done gave up on life. No, I never seen gave the day. Up. Look, I, not, I never thought I'd see the motherfucking day. Gave up on, <laughs> on gave Carlos. Gave up on shit, Jack. Miller. Gave up on shit. You just, you yeah. got to stop doing that You shit. the Grinch that stole love. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think the biggest mistake people make is getting to know a motherfucker. How long the therapy took? Therapy is, you know, however long that you want it, how, how long, long it takes. It's, it's called work doing the work. You got to do the work, man. I think uh -oh. that people fall out of love because they exhaust the idea of being in love. So I think people fall out of then, love because they can't keep it. up the front no more. That's not true. You stop. You, you can love somebody, but then if you don't like them, then that's going to be a problem. So now you have to figure out what you don't like about them and y'all work on that <laughs> if you really want to be together. Well, if you love a motherfucker, you don't got to like them no more. That's not true. You, they done crossed over already. Yeah, yeah they, you, you, but then if you want to be with them cohesively and you, you, you want a, want a, a positive environment. Nah, it's, yeah. that, that's the, see, that's the thing about it. Ain't no positive environment. It's this, that's up to the two motherfuckers in the relationship. You ain't seen two crackheads break up for nothing. Somebody get the remote. The, the chicken is ready. Come on, man. Yeah. Get that. You, Check two, the air fryer. You know why two crackheads ain't, ain't um, broke up? Because they agree on one thing. And that's crack. crack. Yeah. And so most of the time that they're inside, they in love, they out of their mind. No, they're they, they looking. They in a, they in a certain <laughs> level of crack. euphoria. You don't know that. It's in a certain level, what but you can create your. You never you smoke crack. Crack, crack might minute. intensify love. Wait, 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 I watch wait, wait. Snowfall. They might hit the crack and be like, you know what? I love you. I love you too. And then <laughs> smoke crack all night to the crack make everything easier. <laughs> it might. But then love ain't easy. Come on, that shit work. Come on, how man. you know? This, this, my, I, I'm related to some crack people. <laughs> <laughs> you crack. I'm, crack I'm a crack people. descendant. Proximity. I'm a, I'm a crack descendant. Crack, crack descendant. You a descendant of the crackers. Yeah, my, my mama smoked my eye out. But shut up. You get too serious and then you be stupid. Oh. Now, what I'm trying to say is, I know what this shit look like. Okay. And I, I, I understand addiction. So you've been in love wrong before? Man, three, nigga, I got married and divorced in the same year. Got more married on goddamn Valentine's Day, divorced on Halloween, got a trick and a treat. <laughs> I know, I know love. You I, ran through it, boy. You yeah. Ran through that year, huh? Yes. I can't make it. I can't make that shit with public all that. I want everybody to know that I had met somebody that turned my whole world upside down. That's the first mistake you made. Why? Because when you find somebody that you really fuck with, you want to celebrate them. But then the problem is when you're inside this type of game right here and people know you for a certain type of thing and whatnot, you can't tell if they really want you or the idea of you. No, see, the that's, image the, that's of what you. I'm saying. When you start thinking people give a fuck about your personal life, that's where you're going to be fucked up. Yeah, well, well then, if, you, if, if I befriend you. No, it's not about you. No, this is hey, hey, Carlos, I, let me ask you this. Question. This, this is what I'm saying, though. It's like everything ain't for public. No, everything ain't for public. Exactly. You're 100 percent right. That's right. And then as soon as you make it public, then it's for public consumption. Yeah. And if you put and just like you said, mm. once you celebrate, everybody ain't ain't here to celebrate with you. That's the one. You're thing saying that everybody's yeah. not happy for me. That, that nobody is. That's the thing about it. 
Think about what social media is, bro. It's just the highlights of everybody's day. I, Ain't nobody really showing you the shit that's going on for real. This is the best shit. I right? do that. I'm telling you. I, I show you the best and the worst. Okay. I'm cool with it. Would you say I did that? I'm just, I'm w saying. W every, every, like, it, it ain't no secrets about Jack Thriller. I, I put I put out the good, the bad, and the ugly, and all that. And I'm cool with, with, with my demons. I'm cool with my shortcomings and all that. I'm cool with who I am and that's, whatnot. It's not. It, that's fine, but that's what I'm saying. You don't have to show everybody what you cool with. But so, hey, but if I show you what I'm cool with, you'll know what I ain't cool with. All right. Well, when you when you give them everything and you're gonna be empty, then what? That's it. And th th I, this is a very very full uh, jug of uh, of juice All right. right over here. I'm it's a very full, you you yeah. It's impossible for me, for me to be empty. Okay. It, it's a it's a lot to pull from over here, and I, I and uh, I protect my energy. I didn't went through some things that it would have killed a lesser man. Mm. It'd have killed a lesser man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, every time oh, I've man. ever fell down. I'm I'm the king of of uh, getting the fuck back up mm. and handling my business. Come back. Yeah, I'm I'm come the king of that. King. I'm the comeback king. See, see, that's the motherfucking thing right now. The <laughs> trick ain't to goddamn get down there in the first motherfucking place. You keep having the goddamn comeback. You better, <laughs> if you hold your motherfucking head up, you won't keep falling all the motherfucking time. Ain't nobody tell you shit. Like you had just said. <laughs> It's a lot of people that's going through things that people don't even know about. But hey. it's, it's, it's uh, well, what they call it now, the new niggas call it the public figures. But see, that's and, the thing I was saying, though. Yeah. Motherfuckers ain't supposed to know. At some point. But somebody know. going through what we they going through. They only know what you show. But somebody going through what we going through, and they need our testimony. They need to hear about it. our journey. They ain't got to show them. <laughs> okay. You tell them. You ain't got to show it off. So we, gonna, we need to really pretend like everything always all right. No, we don't never need to pretend nothing. But we get we do got to be more aware of what we got down. We got to stop getting on the internet when shit fucked up. Oh, no, no, no. Like See, I understand thing. what you're saying. Yeah. I, and you know what? I think me and you, we all are really saying the same thing. Like, you ain't going to hit see on a um, uh, 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 Jack Dula page where I'm putting up all these goddamn uh, inspirational, depressing quotes and no shit like that. What I was telling you about when, when, when I'm doing interviews, I'll tell you, if you ain't seen me for a minute, why you didn't see me, and this is what was going through, this is what I had fucked up and did, and whatnot, and you don't have to do that if you just do the opposite of what I did, and this is what, I want you to learn from what I said, and because I already went through that shit, you don't have to do it, you don't have to fuck up the same way I did, and I think I've helped a lot of people through these, uh, uh, these interviews. I, I really believe that. I know you did. Hell yeah. Because that's what I'm saying. You, that's a whole nother side. Yeah, so we, we, I think we're saying the same thing there. Because let's, let's be honest. If, if you really just think about it, you, you really don't know shit personal about my life. That's the part I'm saying. Yeah, you, but look, nobody know how many brothers and sisters I got. But listen to what I'm saying. You understand what, what this whole media shit is. So it's like... These motherfuckers, they don't need to know that shit. They just right. make that part. That's the part they'll make up for you. 100%. Ain't, like you said. No, I Google myself. I'm worth $50 million. <laughs> oh, you want to hear some shit about that? My uncle Googled me, and that celebrity net worth shit popped up, and he mad as fuck. I go see him. He's talking about, yeah, that nigga got, nigga got $12 million and ain't gave me shit. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck you talking about? Yeah, I seen the shit on the internet, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what happened to family? <laughs> Tall for you, huh? Hey, where they get these numbers from? They just man? make up shit. Where did they get these I numbers don't know. from, bro? I don't have twelve My million dollars worth of shit. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, you know what it did for me when I seen them fifty million? I was like. You know what? I, I'm gonna make up in my mind right now. I'm gonna make fifty million dollars. You ain't made it yet. No, I didn't. I, I know mean, I didn't. I, I, I know I probably didn't pass through probably three. Let me tell you. I didn't fucked up three in my three in my lifetime, and that ain't shit. You didn't at thirty nine years old. You didn't fucked up about three million yeah, in, in my lifetime. Oh yeah, yeah we really? all probably up. There. All us. Yeah, yeah once, everybody. Once we all us. All us. I ain't fucked yeah. up no three million dollars. You you still got shit your three million. million. Carlos still got his three million. Me. Where the fuck I get three million dollars from, Jack? Stop making up shit about it. No, I'm not making it up. I, I will never get on that. No, I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm wishing the best for you. I'm pretty oh. sure that you are, you have three million dollars. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why would you say that? Did you just look like a three million dollar nigga. <laughs> With this shit on? Most definitely, man. Hey, don't that nigga look like three million dollars? That's all. 
I mean, I'm offended. Hey, ask them, <laughs> you, ask them real quick, dude. You look like three men now. Nah, I'm straight, bro. Nah, I'm good. I ain't got no money. I can dig it. I'm I can dig it. I, I see where you're going with that. I'm but yeah, uh, I, yeah, I'm all about, um, you know, um, what, do they, what do they call that shit in the morning when you, you get inside the, the, the mirror and say positive things to yourself? Self-reflection. Self-affirmations. Affirmations. Yeah. But you I'm, said in the mirror. I thought you meant reflection. Yeah, you, you, you talk to yourself and you tell yourself how dope you are. You are dope. Yeah. You, you dope like cooked crack. Come on now. Doper than a trunk full of crack. Yeah, you are. Come on now. And, and that's <laughs> how I feel. And I, I do that every day. And, um, you know, I, I, I listen to, I, I read a, a lot of books. Yeah. Um, one of the books that I'm reading right now, Manifest Now, that shit is amazing. Speaking of manifesting, um, yeah. tell me about the shows that you've been working on. Oh, uh, right now, this show is a uh, star myself, Music Soul Child, and uh, uh, Carl Payne. Come on. What's it oh, called? It's called that? Matinee. That's dope. Yeah, it's What's called the Mat concept. The concept is it's a Siskel and Ebert uh, style show between uh, all three of us. Now, we come from, you know what I'm saying, very different reputable parts of the entertainment field. Like, okay. uh, Music Soul Child is a multi platinum artist. Right. Uh, Carl Payne, he's a legendary actor, right. comedian, and, and then whatnot. You. And then it's Jack Thriller, man. Uh, 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 media <laughs> Maven. Media Mogul. Maven. 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 Media, Ma media Maven. Ain't that a one? I thought it was too. No way. I thought it was too. I looked it up. It's, it's like ambidextrous. <laughs> It's you you say, it could be both of them. It's in it gets the people going. It's oh, provocative. Come on, man. <laughs> Super Sonic. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I, I, it's some shit that's dope. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, okay. it's big. I yeah. knew. It. Yeah, it and big, so, you big, know, on this big. show, we're going to be like, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 reviewing movies movies before you see them. We're going to be reviewing anime before you see them because um, Music Soul Child is a big anime buff. He's a right. big movie buff, and he's also a big... A uh, 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 video game buff, and a lot of people don't know that. All they know is the guy that sings the ballads. Same thing with Carl Payne, man. He's very scientific and, and um, uh, technical when it yeah. comes to breaking down yeah. uh, uh, projects and whatnot. And, and it's Jack me. Thriller. I'm driving the ship. Right. I'm driving the ship and I'm steering the show. You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth because that's what I specialize in is keeping that shit going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Smoothing that thing all the way on out. And it's, it's basically three the hard way. And, uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, it's matinee. It's movies, anime, and television, and arcade. That's what the other A stand for. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. Like I said, it's the relationship show. Uh, also, uh, oh, do you think about me? Yes, yeah, one hundred percent. Really, really excited about that in the climate. Yeah, you can share some of your real perspectives on love and like. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred. Everything that I'm, I'm talking about, man. It was before the all. Working on a relationship book. Too. I'm working on a relationship book. What's yours called? It's called uh, Side Chick Holiday. Mine called Don't Nobody <laughs> Want You. Don't nobody want you. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's what you gonna call this shit. Yeah, you a demotivational speaker. Right. <laughs> Less motivating. <Yeah. laughs> Turn that smile upside down. <laughs> what the fuck, man? The nigga worse than that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do not call this nigga when you about to goddamn kill yourself. No, man. And well, now you gonna like, hey, so what you gonna do with that PlayStation? <laughs> Well, look, Jay, we got, you, the in, them day, them, them, um, them we got you in the trap. Mm -hmm. We're going to put these projects together and shit. Yeah, dude. Man, it's always good to hey, see Hey, hold on. Before you go, man, you know my birthday May 7th, man. I heard y'all coming to Atlanta. <laughs> my birthday May 7th. Can I, I come to the show? Can I get some tickets to the show, man? <laughs> Stay for them, Marina. Can your dog get it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Can I get a couple tickets, man? I'm just going to bring like, like about eight niggas with me. If they have a school with you. Call, uh, All right, what's up? Welcome back call to up. the 85 South Show. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, shit. This one of the wildest niggas in the game. Clayton, man. What hey, you, thank you for being a what friend. What you got to say, man? Oh, man, Jack, I fuck with you the long way, bro. Already. You know this, big dog. One of the realest to ever do it, come man. On, come on, man. Come we on. to it, man. D come on, now. Hey, man, let Hold your lovers be here. your motivators. There you go, man. Let your lovers be your motivator. Fast South Show, that nigga Jack Thriller. Come on now. <laughs> Fuck with you, dog. Come on now. Hey, how much time to say that here? Man. Nigga, we got about two hours. That's about eight hours. Eight. Don't leave me no. hanging on camera. Oh, shit, I'm using my blind side. Probably oh, okay. I didn't see that. I hate this nigga, man. It's about two <laughs> and a half hours, man. Jack, let's get a pick, man. Let's do it, let's do it. Cat, I gotta get Ryan. Jack Thriller, real nigga, 
cap pillar, drug dealer. This nigga here, bro. That's my nigga Jack Thriller. Dang, dang. Ryan Davis. Oh. Come on, bro. You gotta get Ryan Davis in here, man. Young legend. Oh shit. The next. Jackie Thriller in real life. Bro, you know what we should get? Like while like in between shows, we should just get some Cafe Bourbon Street. Like it's something about you ever be watching 85 South Shore just want some New Orleans food? I do. Like, so we should just go to Cafe Bourbon Street, bro. Look, bring me the sauce. Let me tell them. Look, Cafe Bourbon Street got this sauce. I put it on everything. It's called Sweet Heat Sauce. And you should really get some. Look, check this out. Go to realneworleansfood.com and you can get some shipped straight to you. I'm telling you. Just so you can try it, because New Orleans food is the best, and I'm trying to plug everybody into the people that I know from New Orleans, from Cafe Bourbon Street, because I like this sauce. Today. I just want to help my people sell some, so I do this for free. They didn't pay me for this. For real. I'm taking this bottle of sauce as payment, though. It's, I'm serious. This, you know, but I will walk off. I don't have to do this. This is not paid. 